Hello, hello, hello. Hi. <clears throat> that was the weirdest hello I've ever done on stream. Wow, we're making history today. How's everyone doing? I'm really sleepy today. Ugh. And I'm not... I am just... I wish that sleepiness was just an act. You know what I mean? Like, people are like, Oh, your, your, your VTuber looks so sleepy. I'm like, I... You realize that this is not a choice. <laughs> I, I wish I was more alert. How do people do it? I'm like falling asleep all the time. I'm so sleepy. Um, but you know what? I'm extra sleepy today because I actually slept at like 4 a.m. And that's not a good idea. Jess Goff said they couldn't make it, but they love you. Ah, Jess, I love them too. Ah, but that's okay. I know not, not everyone can make these times. We are, we're all busy. I, I understand. Good evening. I'm looking forward to you making my day better. Ah, oh, I hope your day does get better, uh, Jake. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of you. How's everyone? How, how's everyone doing? Is everyone having a? I hope that if things have been hectic before, that it's quieter now, and that you can just take it easy. It's okay. It's time to watch the funny otter play video game. You know, get yourself nice, nice and toasty under the covers. Or take that shit. I know some of you love taking shits while watching me. I just know it. I feel it. That's- that's- I have a third eye for that kind of stuff. Um, it's the first day of Chinese New Year, but things are chill for now. Oh my gosh, yeah, happy Chinese New Year! Happy Lunar New Year to all who celebrate. It's, uh, Lunar New Year's Eve for me right now, but it's gonna be the New Year's Day in- in- in a couple hours. Yeah, it's a really special- it's a really special day. Happy New Year! If those who celebrate the moon, um, werewolves, I'm looking at you. Asians, I'm looking at you. Asian werewolves, I'm looking at you too. Awoo, it's the Lunar New Year. It's a really special day. Happy New Year. It's, it's the year of the cow. It's the year of the ox. Did you guys know that oxes and cows are the same animal? I didn't know that for a long time. And by a long time, I mean my entire life until like a few months ago. I really didn't understand. Um... Hang on, I just got a- I got a- I got a work-related message, and I had to, like, stare at that for a few seconds. Oh, there's another one. Uh, but you know what? I'm on stream right now. And no one who is my superior at work is watch- watches me, as far as I know. So, it's okay. I mean, it's 8 p.m. for me, so I- I should be not working. Ugh, I didn't get anything done. <laughs> I thought bulls and cows were the same, but I didn't know oxes were. Yeah! So bulls and cows are the same. They are cattle. But oxes are cattle too! Isn't that crazy? Let me let me double check my facts. Oxes are commonly castrated adult male cattle. So they're just bulls that work. Yeah, they're just castrated bulls, and then they, like, pull, like, wagons and farm things and people or whatever. Um, I didn't know that! I thought they were, like, a related ant- I thought they were, like, bison or something. Like, like, related to bison. You know, you got the bulls, you got the bison. Next you're gonna tell me bison. No, but bisons are different. They- they- they clearly look different. They got the big hump. That's crazy. Has anyone played Abzu? I haven't played Abzu before. We're playing Abzu today. Abzu is a swimming game. Yeah, so, you know, when people were saying it's the year of the cow, you know, people were drawing all that, like, horny cow fan art of, like, ladies in cow lingerie. I'm like, ha, huh, you're the cow. It's the year of the ox. Psh. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh. You can draw sexy cow lingerie. Cause the cow- cause the ox is in the- oh. That changes everything. Abzu is great. Oh, I'm so excited. Abzu is so beautiful. Ooh, that's exactly what I need tonight because it's gonna put me to sleep. It's gonna put me to sleep live on stream and then I'm gonna get banned because that's against the TOS. It's gonna be really fun. Gonna take a cookie picture. What is- what is a cookie picture? Is that a picture of a cookie? Sexy ox lingerie when? Ugh. Ugh. Are you kidding me? I already have a cow- I already have a cow chester picture. You gotta dig around for that one. I can't- 
I can't spoon feed all of you. You guys gotta, you gotta, you gotta do your own homework sometimes. Can you find the the Chester cow picture that I drew for New Year's? You just have to scroll back to January. I mean, I really should have saved it till now, right? Because this is like the lunar count, like the lunar zodiac thing. So yeah. Hi, Dark Wolf. How's it going? I, I'm sorry, I didn't say hi to everyone. To all of you who are here, hello, Abzu. Oh my gosh, Maxel. Hi. Yes, Abzu. Abzu is an indie game, and I got it for for like two dollar because it was on sale and it, it apparently it's like a two to three hour game which is honestly my kind of game because who's got time these days i'm so addicted to hades and it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me but i finally beat it i'm sorry that i couldn't do it on stream i don't know if i could have actually successfully beaten it on stream because i was really zeroed in apparently my mom was screaming at me that dinner was ready but i just i was i was so absorbed into the game that i just did not hear her she was like there's no way he's awake I'm like, no, I was playing, I was, I was playing game. <laughs> oh, Rhythmoid, I hope you have a good night. I'd love to stay, but it's 10 p.m. Good night. I'll try to catch the weekend streams. Oh, have a good sleep. It's good that you're sleeping at 10 p.m. Wow, like, that's mad respect right there. Everyone should be more like Rhythm. Follow in his lead. <gasps> Zithryu! Oh my gosh! Thank you, thank you! Holy crap! Wait, how come I'm not getting the alert? OBS is being really funny today, and I'm not getting any alerts. Is there a way to... The emote wall is working. I am so sorry. I... Uh, I can say, all right, 20 times, <laughs> if you so prefer. Uh, b uh mm, all right! <laughs> My alerts aren't working. Ah, oh no. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, 20. Zithryu kept their word. They promised that they would give subs if I beat Hades, and I did. And I was trying to, I was like, you don't, you really don't have to do that. But I mean, there was no stopping them. So thank you. All I have to say is thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, the bits are working. I don't huh. have school tomorrow, so I can actually watch all of the stream. Well, I still encourage you to sleep. I'm sorry, <laughs> Zithryu, you, your generosity was too much for, for Streamlabs, it, it got really shy. Um, I just hit the refresh button, so hopefully everything's working now. Um, I can, I see the emotes bouncing around, so... Yeah, uh, for some reason I couldn't see... Oh, there it is! I couldn't see the, um, the chat box, like... OBS should have a little, uh, button for the chat. It should have, like, a little widget for, for chat, but, like... For some reason, the option, the option just just isn't showing up today. So I had to pop it out of the stream manager myself. Is Hades worth it? Yes, absolutely. Um, especially if you like a good challenge. But there is an easy mode too called God mode that makes you more powerful every time you die. Um, it's just an all around very satisfying game with a really brilliant progression system, and I highly recommend it. Um. I, even though I beat the game, they kind of encourage you to beat it multiple times to unlock more of the ending, so I'm still going to be playing it, although I, I'm afraid that it's boring for you guys to watch me play Hades over and over, so we're going to move on to other stuff. That's why we're playing Abzu today. I like games like Gungeon or Dead Cells. If you like games like Gungeon or Dead Cells, it's very likely you'll like it. Yes, I agree, I agree. I, and I like Gungeon too, but Hades just has a way of pulling you in, like, deeper. Um, It just... It just eases you into it. Gungeon is so hard, oh my god. Should I stream that? Hmm. You got my bits, that, that's all that matters. Oh, um, thank you, thank you guys, oh my gosh. I just realized that, yeah, OBS is being really funny today and I'm so sorry if I miss some stuff. Let me, let me pop out the activity feed and read some, some subs and stuff. Uh, cause it just, it's just gone, I gotta, I gotta figure that out. It, it, it's probably gonna fix itself after I close it and open it back up, but for now, I gotta do things manually. <clears throat> so we're gonna go back in time a little bit, and I'm going to read some some subs and bit donations, because I'm sorry if I missed you, but I'm only 10 minutes into the stream, so I don't feel too bad, because sometimes I'm like, oh shit, I forgot this. I forgot to read this from two hours ago, and they're like not even here anymore. Um, Let's see. Nikolai Barrett, thank you, thank you so much for the resub. Thanks to Merm for my gift subs. Oh, thank you, Michael. 
Um, Andrew James and follower, thank you for the bits. I'm sorry if it didn't read it out loud. I My OBS is being really weird today. I guess it's sleepy, just like me. Uh, Zithryu, thank you again for the 20 whopping gift subs. That's super generous. And Blitzrunner, thank you for the 10 bits. And Trotsy, thank you. Thank you for the Prime sub, thank you. I commissioned two 3D models for $60, both based on a dream. One I had a Sharpie commission of, and another that's an enemy based off of Resident Evil slash Silent Hill based in Nightmare. Oh, that sounds like a really hardcore nightmare. I hope you're doing okay after that. Um, but that's awesome. Dude, people commissioning artists are hot because that's how artists roll and it just keeps the economy going, you know? It's like, it doesn't go to a big wig somewhere. It doesn't get lost in the bureaucracy. It just goes directly into the hands of creatives and then they can, then those artists can use that money to maybe commission other artists and it's like a happy cycle. Um, I've seen you on the bird app. Oh, Diego, hi, welcome, welcome. But now you're on the otter app. I'm just kidding, it's Twitch. <laughs> welcome, welcome, I hope you enjoy. We're gonna play Abzu today. Um, I'm just, I'm a little slow to start because I'm a little sleepy. Uh, sleepier than usual. I slept at 4 a.m. and woke up at, well, I guess I woke up at 10 or 11, so I should, I should be fine on six hours-ish. But those weird hours, just maybe I didn't sleep as well. I had some, I had some weird dreams. Do you guys want to hear about a dream that I had? Oh my gosh, John Blue, thank you, thank you for the bits. Is it going to read it? I hope so. Um, why are my alerts not working? Can I see the teeth? Ah. Oh, it'll read it. Can we hear it? Let's hear it. Can I see the teeth? Three, also, what was the other game that was mentioned? Dungeon in? Dead Cells, uh, I think. I have not played Dead Cells, but I have played Enter the Gungeon. Gungeon is really good. It's got, like, a nice kind of almost, like, throwback Newgrounds style uh, sense of humor. I think maybe some Newgrounds artists uh, worked on it i don't know but uh it's got like a nice little retro charm to it i'm getting so many things there are oh that's you and forex <laughs> thank you for sending me stuff now the whole chat knows you sent me a picture that i will check later on oh my god teeth teeth show teeth ah ah can this just be the entire stream like i don't even have to play video games i could just sit here and go to sleep like this Oh no, Twitch! Don't ban me for that. I was, it was, I was, I, I'm, I was, I'm just playing. I'm playing. It's not real. I love Hollow Knight. Yeah, me too. I've only played it for like an hour, but I want to play more of it. Have you played Minecraft? I want to play Minecraft so badly, but I do not have Minecraft. It seems like such a time sink and an investment. Um, so I, I, I really do want to play it. Like, I love. I'm not even big on the YouTube Minecraft scene. Like, I don't know all the YouTube Minecrafters like Dream or whoever like i dream is the only minecrafter i know um but i watched i don't know i watched some vtubers play minecraft i watch um uh like matt watson epic smp minecraft gameplay uh and i'm like this is so chill and good and i love this and i want to do i want to do it myself can we start our own smp server come on how how, how, how do we get how do we get that going <laughs> um i'm only partially kidding like Minecraft, I also involve a lot of time. You involve a lot of time, like getting to know you. Uh, ooh, interesting. Well, if you're anything like Minecraft, then it's worth it. Yeah, Matt Watson. Hey, I'm a big fan. <laughs> uh, I have both Bedrock and Java. Yeah, everyone's telling me to get Java. Uh, just because of like the mod capability. I know Bedrock is cross uh, console play, but I'm all about that mod, mod ability, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I'm scrolling up chat a little bit. Chester hires Twitch chat to build the school. Yes, let's build the school. Oh, you're so big. I am really big today. Hi, Allie. How's it going? Oof, I'm so sleepy. We're going to play Abzu. We're going to play Abzu and we're going to learn to swim. Rainbow Dash, the thank you. The high is always worth a sub. I am Chris for a. Ah, oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you for the resub, Rainbow Dash. I really appreciate it. Um, we finally hit that eight hundred sub point goal, but um, 
like a few days ago, it just dropped all the way down to 600 something because I guess a bunch of people subbed uh, a month ago and it finally expired. <laughs> so I guess we won't be unlocking emotes for a while, but that's okay. I mean, you get y'all got the maid, so you you made it just in time. A, hey. <laughs> I'm I'm funny today. How how what do we do with all this all this funny? Where do I put all this funny energy? Have you ever heard of Starbound? It's like Terraria in I space. I have heard of it. I've heard of it, and I've not played it or looked into it. I've never played Terraria either. Oh, there's so many games to play. You know, I really do appreciate getting suggestions, but I always feel bad when I can't get to them all. Um, so if you guys don't mind me being like, that is a good suggestion, and then like, very likely never playing the game, then by all means. <laughs> I really, you know, like, ugh, I'm just, I'm tired. Oh, Webster, hi, how's it going? You gotta play Terraria, it's so good. It just looks like pixel art Minecraft to me. What kind of game is it really? I only know what it looks like, but I've never really looked into what kind of game it is. Hi, Dra uh, Dragic. How's it going? Oh, my foot fell asleep already. Oh, ah, 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 oh, I feel the ants, the pins and needles. Why did I say ants? It kind of feels like ants are crawling all over my leg. Oh. Um, pins and needles, pins and needles. Ah. I really like, I really dislike Minecraft, so I mean, oh no, you dislike Minecraft? Why? <laughs> well, I know that it's relaxing to watch, but I don't know how it is to play. 2D Minecraft with an actual story and more bosses. Ooh. Don't starve together with Chris and friends. I have that. I, I bought that because chat told me to buy it and I've not run it yet. I gotta ask Momo about how to actually play because I know she's, um, She's mentioned that she's taught her friends how to play as well. I have Don't Starve Together. Yeah, we are, we, we'll, we're all gonna figure out how to play that game together. It's challenging, yeah, I've heard. The bulk of the game is preparing for the boss fights. What, what's a chill game? You know, I know what a chill game is. We're gonna play a chill game today. All right, that's enough talk. We're hitting the 20 minute mark. We're gonna start playing Abzu in just a sec. I'm gonna stretch. What? Mm, Spirit Fair is chill. Yeah, I've heard about that. Isn't that like furry compatible? I'm not going hungry. Not going hungry is a very hard game. Ooh, gotta look into that. The pocket version of Don't Starve. Have you played Journey? I have it on the iPad, but I haven't run it yet. Oh, there's something about playing games on the iPad. Like the iPad is nice to, to watch YouTube and browse the internet on and draw on, but I just don't want a game on an iPad. I don't know why. Like, I don't even want to, I don't want to, yeah, I don't know what it is. I'd rather game on my phone. It's just too big. It's like having to hold the TV. Spirit Fair is chill and sad. Ooh, those are my two favorite vibes. Everyone knows that I'm all about the sad, chill vibes here. Huh. Wow, I gotta check it out. Seems right up my alley. Uh, chill? <laughs> Wow, now you're talking my language. Chill and sad? I gotta get this fucking game. <laughs> Abzu is a great game, nice and chill. Journey is another chill game. Same style, but in a desert instead of an ocean. Ooh. I wonder if Chester likes deserts more than water. Probably. For some reason, phone isn't sending me notification when you go live. Ah, I don't know why. Oh no. Sometimes it's just like that. But you can turn the alerts on on the Discord. On the Discord stream. Uh stream channel i hope that's uh i hope that worked i never really know if um things are working properly but all i gotta do is hope for the best i hope the internet's better today because i was lagging a lot the other day and that upset me i got upset thank you Raphael. comedy genius over here <laughs> raid emotes oh yeah i should do i should do some raid i should is that a thing? I don't really- I'm- I'm still learning Twitch to this day. I gotta look into that. I know there are like bit emotes that I can do, like cheer modes. Um, most people don't- who, most people- I know people who do amazing don't starve together character mods that are 100% balanced. Ooh, Chester character would be fun as hell. Ooh, won't say no to that. All right, game time. Get out of here, golden sun music. I love the game. 
Let me check Twitter really quick to see how my new post is doing. Check out my new drawing. I just spent the last hour before I went on stream drawing this fun thing. I drew a fun thing with Chester. Check out my art. I draw sometimes, you know. Ooh, I'm excited about it. I think it looks quite good. It, it took me an hour and a half to draw that. Um, I got a DM. I got some notifications. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, hmm. Someone says, we need a full body made Chester. Oh, don't you know there is a full body made Chester? Don't you know that exists already? Um, I know I make you guys work for it. It's like you, you, you can't miss a beat with uh, with these streams. Like I'll show you full body made Chester for a second and be like, I already gave it to you. I'm not gonna show it again. <laughs> Your drawing is so good for an hour and a half. Ah, oh, thank you. It's the, it's the grain. You just slap some grain on anything and it looks profesh. I'm only half kidding, but you know, that texture really does add like a nice touch. Um, I had some reference, I had some like old concept art that I helped do the colors with. So I didn't, you know, you know, I, a lot of the times I will spend a lot of time like figuring out what colors to use, but this time I could just like color drop it and modify it slightly. And it really helped with the time. I'm ready to be blown away by this fast art, quote unquote. What? Who you who you're telling me about fast art? You make like a full VTuber in a night, Allie. Everyone go follow Allie. Got hit I gotta hit her with that. Shout out. Alright, game time. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Console? Oh, look, Hades? What? Oh. Oh, that's weird. I'm not playing Hades today. Huh? plays Hades. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm going to make Chester bigger and bring him over here because I like being big. I like people looking at me because you guys are really nice and I like getting positive attention. See, this is me when you guys are nice to me. Um, let me make sure that I saved and I'll exit Hades and then we can get Abzu started. Ah, oh, thank you for the pets. That's exactly the positive attention that I was talking about. I'm, I'm using the gun for the first time, but we're not playing this today. We're not playing this. I don't want anyone looking at the thumbnail and getting confused. Oh, and by the way, this my favorite gun upgrade so far. This is my first run with a gun. But I got a thing that makes it so that I never have to reload. And thank God, it finally finally this weapon's usable. Oh, so good. All right. Uh, we're getting out of here. <laughs> Oh, Zagreus, you make me blush. But we're playing Abzu today, so I'm not blushing anymore. Brown, 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 brown. Ah, there it is. Uh-huh. Oh, don't look at that. I'm an otter. <laughs> My minotaur guy. Oh yeah, you know what? It's the year of the cow. It's fucking year of Asterius. Everyone draw Asterius art. Everyone draw Asterius and cow lingerie. Just do it. Do it now. It's the Chester challenge. Hashtag VR Chester. Hashtag Chester challenge. Hashtag Asterius cow lingerie. Go. Do it right now. All right. Absolute time. Hmm. Oof. Buff milkers are a lifestyle? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's the year of the cow. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking this game already. Yo, look at that water. That's some nice ass water. We need that vaccine. Hell, <laughs> I mean, you know. Sorry, I realized it was ear blastingly loud. Uh, we're gonna fix that. Femboy, hi, how's it going? We're, we're playing Abzu today. Sorry about the audio for a sec, it was like crazy loud. But uh, it's regular loud now, as far as I know. Jennifer, oh my gosh, thank you for the resub. Whoa, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, how's Ooh, it going? Five months already. I hope that the mic isn't picking up the 
audio coming from my headphones. I gotta make sure I gotta fix that. Making it quiet, quieter for myself. Hi, Jennifer. How's it going? Hope you're good. I'm tired. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, oh baby. Why are we singing Kingdom Hearts music? Oh, what is this? Press to, oh, am I T-posing right now? Dude, T-pose. Look at that. If you don't do anything, you T-pose automatically. Look, check it out. Yo, I love this character. Just eyes? That's really nice. And this water looks so serene. Damn, look at those feet. I know you guys love feet, you freaks. No, I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, Chester goes great with Hearthstone, Hearthstone emotes. Ooh, how do you feel about those new Hearthstone uh, announcements that they just made? Oh, press this to dive. This game is pretty deep. Ah, you're so right. Oh, I can swim. Balrog, thank you for the resub. Whoa, thanks for your uh, subbing with Prime. So cool. Where am I going? Oh, press this to boost. Do I mash it or do I press it once? How do I swim? I'm pressing it. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, this game's hard. Hades is easier. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You. Thank you, thank you for the bits. Hold the button to boost. I'm hold I'm holding. Hang on. But it seems like I gotta keep pressing it to propel my feet or something. A welcome change? I made the decision to not pay for cards anymore. Uh though I hope they're Good for that. I hope so too. I know they introduced like a new reward system recently. Um, I find that Hearthstone hits a nice balance. It's not like crazy greedy, but it's still pretty hard to compete with people who just like buy a ton of card packs. The Dark Souls of swimming? I mean, swimming is hard. I can't swim in real life. Have you heard of Dagon Rampa? I know the Game Grumps are playing it. Um, it seems like a really long game. I don't know if I'll anytime soon but i know that it's got a devoted fan base you're an otter i know don't don't assume don't assume that i can swim just because i'm an otter what that's a stereotype i'm just kidding I'm, i don't want to i don't want to make it heavy it's like a visual novel yeah i haven't really played visual novels what i can ride the fish like a horse what Get it up, yeehaw, get it, go on, get it. Come on, let's go. Such a peaceful game. I'm just tearing, I'm just, I'm causing, I'm, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Oh, he's, he's gone. Don't ride horse like that. Ooh. How is it this bright underwater? That's crazy. That's a base? Badunch. Get it? Cause like... Actually, wait, I don't think that joke made sense. I was thinking like instruments, and then bass line, and then drum set, and then... Ugh, jeez. What's going on today? Oh, 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 I want to interact with that. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry if you guys get frustrated because I can't swim. I can't even Chris swim in a swimming game. During stream becomes nap with Chester stream. No, that's against the rules. If any, if I fall asleep, wake me up. Bass equals drum set. I d there was some mental association going on. Okay, Polar Place, thank you for the hosty, for the hosty. <laughs> thank you, Polar Place, for the hosty. Ugh, jeez, I'm just embarrassing myself today, aren't I? Wait, where do I go? So I, I, I just generated some turtles, I believe. And for those of you who are like, um, I think you meant tortoises. Fuck off! I'm kidding. No, it's it's fine actually. You can correct me. Um, can someone double check this for me though? Like, I've heard that turtle is a broad term that encompasses tortoises as well as land turtle. Is that correct? Can someone uh, fact check that for me? Yo, everyone was telling me that I was pronouncing Demeter wrong. The Greek god Demeter. They're like, you're saying it wrong. It's Demeter. 
And then I'm playing, I'm playing Hades and they're like, Demeter. I'm like, what? Y'all made me think I was wrong. Same thing happened with Dionysus too. You're like, it's Dionysus. I'm like, Dionysus nuts? No. Sometimes you have to... I have enough self-doubt that I'll automatically assume that I'm wrong when someone corrects me. But maybe I should have a little bit more confidence, you know? Yeah, the game is cute, but I still can't stand how adorable your VTuber avatar is. Ah, thank so you. So happy someone introduced me to you. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that... Thank you, and thank... Thank your buddy, and thank both of you for watching and hanging out. We're here to vibe. The more good vibes, the better. Someone recently DM'd me just a few minutes ago. I would kill... Hang on, let's hear I it. I have a joke for you, Chester. How did the otter escape the police? They managed to make a slippery getaway. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, someone just DM'd me. I would kill for to to get a face rig from you. Um, and I almost said then kill, <laughs> but I was just like, no, I I'm too busy. But thank you, it means a lot, which is what I usually say. But how like how would they react if I'm like, well. <laughs> well, kill then. Otter getting violent? Not me, I'm not getting violent. Y'all are in volunteering that you would murder for, for my behalf. Um, well, prove it. Bring me their head. Let's go through this kind of weird looking membrane. I am so bad at swimming in this game. I feel like swimming should be the easiest thing to do. Chester Kratos? Boy. Robot friend acquired. You know, I was listening- I was watching my, uh, uh, my one-shot gameplay back. And I'm a little sad that Prototype- Like, I kind of did a voice for Prototype. Um, but, like, all the, like, performance that I put into the voice got washed away because the, uh, voice filter that I used just kind of flattened it all. Um, so I'm a little sad about that because I was like, mm, I'm doing a voice like this, like, my name is Prototype. And, like, it just sounded generic like a robot. I kind of liked my voice. I would swim with you, but I can't swim. Do you mind if I float with you? I can't swim either. We can both perish in the water. Well, actually, let's let's both not perish. That sounds like way more fun. The entirety of this game is a water level. Oh, I can't I can't wait till I get to the to the land and start jumping around like Mario. You have dulcet tones. What does that mean? Is that good? Do I have to see a doctor for that? Doctor. I think I have a case of dulcet tones. Floaties Chester, you said it. Do not perish. So I think I actually have to hold ZR, which I didn't know before, which is why I had some trouble. Let's go inside the the, the fucking war the galaxy warp. How are they breathing for so long? I mean, how is this happening? <laughs> Where am I? Atlantis? Galaxy butthole, thank you. I didn't want to say it, but you said it. Can't you swim? I thought you were an otter. Y'all gotta stop making assumptions about what I can and can't do because of the way I look. You know? I'm, I'm self-conscious about it. What can I say? I, I get cramps when I'm in the water and then I freak out and now I'm scared of water. Also, I had a second grade uh, lifeguard coach swimming teacher who basically picked me up and threw me in the water like like a football because I was really small back then. That's a true story. <laughs> and that scared me. That That's not cool. Can you guys not do that with like six year olds or second seven year olds? Can you not pick them up and throw them into water like overhand throw in, into, into water? That's not... 
It's not cool. <laughs> um, but it's okay. Can frats swim IRL? Uh, depends on the frat. Happened to me too, unfortunately. I hope people don't do that anymore. Is that a thing? I didn't realize that was a thing. Is it like a national holiday? Like, throw a seven-year-old into a pool day? Because I don't like that. Can we abolish that? It's a rite of passage. Chester, I love you. Ah, oh, Miko, I love you too. Thank you for the sub. Ah, oh, thank you. You're really improving my night right now. Everyone is... I'm, I'm in such a good mood. It's a boomer way of teaching... Ugh. Boomers, let me tell you. I'll tell you what. Toddler tossing is an Olympic sport. Is it a separate category to be the toddler being tossed? National Punch Short People Day? Well, you watch out for National Short People Revenge Day. Whoa, look at this! Look at these ancient artifacts! Look at those hieroglyphs! So cool. That's what it's all about, you know? That's what it's all about. So do I have to actually do anything, or am I just going through the nice scenery? Because I, I feel like I'm missing like a ton of secrets, right? Are there like unlockables or something? I'm a lovable shorty, thank you, no punting me. I like to think that I'm a lovable shorty too. But I can't... I, I don't know, I don't want to assume. I don't want to assume that I'm lovable. <laughs> Well, I'm getting- I'm getting deep. Let me, let me not go there. Whoa! Oh my gosh, no! Uh, what? Uh, why? Huh? Uh, that's not cool. But that's just how it goes. I'm five feet six inches. How tall are you, Chris? Well, you never ask an otter how tall they are. You, that's like asking a lady their age. I'm five foot three. Well, if you want to know how chest, how tall Chester is canonically, because I'm talking about me, Chester is like three feet tall, maybe shorter. Uh, not counting the tail, because when he's standing upright, the tail is kind of curled. Uh, and if you want to know like the full length tail-wise, like tail included, then I'm not actually sure. Maybe five feet? Laying across the ground? But if you want to know me, if you want to know the real... The real me, if we're talking like actual Chris, uh, I am five foot three. Don't judge me. Don't punt me. No punting. I'm taller than you. Well, th you know what? I can't say that that's a huge bar to, to fill. Like, it doesn't take much to be smaller than me. But actual Chris is an otter, right? Of course, of course. Of course. But there's a separate canon for uh, Chester in the context of a fictional story. It's, it's It gets a little complicated. It's like multiverse shit, you know? If you've read any comic book, you would know what I'm talking about. You can ride almost every sea creature. Can I ride the, the shark that killed my friend? Yo, what is this music? This is so good. I want to turn it up. Hang on. Yo, this is like fucking Maestro going going off with this orchestra right now. You're five foot three too. Ah, oh. we are like kin. I, I swear, every few streams the the topic always comes back to height. I don't know why people are so fascinated. I wish that like we could live in a world where it's arbitrary how tall you are, but it's just unfortunately built into how we perceive others. Yo, this is like Finding Nemo when you ride the current. Where's the turtle? What's that? What, what's that? Oh, I'm, am I riding the school of fish? Or what, am I supposed to do something? Is this like a rhythm game? Yeah, hey, turn it up! <laughs> What if Chris is slowly anamorphing into an otter and they don't know it because it's only happening on the inside right now? Happening on the inside? You mean my spirit is turning into otter or I just like don't see my ears turning into otter ears? 
Yo, don't tempt me with that kind of fancy. I, I, I'm... You know... I like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Haven't beaten it, but... Who doesn't want it? Look for sharks, statues, and Nautilus shells. Also, you can ride the big fish. This game is all about exploring and scenery. Oh no, I'm, I'm rushing this game, aren't I? I'm, I'm just blasting through, I'm not exploring at all. Here, I'll explore after I'm through the tunnel. Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna explore this open world. Only your internal organs are turning into otter? Does that mean I can actually swim? This is really nice. I mean, I know that this isn't like a high frame rate game or whatever, but like... Well, I don't know, maybe it is, but... I think these graphics are really impressive for the Switch. David Cronenberg otter transformation? Can I have literally any other kind of transformation than than uh, a, a movie director known for body horror. How's it going? Ah, oh, Maxi, uh, Max, Maxi Quiz, Maxi, it's great. It's going really great, thanks. How's it going for you, Max? How's it going? How are you? I played Pokemon when it was still on Game Boy and I've only beaten Pokemon Sun. Oh, are you saying that you fell out of Pokemon and you picked it back up when Pokemon Sun came out? Because I was a really similar way, because I never played Gen 3, 4, or 5, and I went back with Gen 6. Um, but I, I love it. I know people get really nostalgic, especially, like... You know, you'll find that, like, once you reach, like, the post-nostalgia age of, like, you know, the novelty of no longer being a child is over, you start to realize how how powerful nostalgia is, like, you know, no one I know uh, that's my age is, like, nostalgic for Gen 4, but a lot of my friends are like, oh, Gen 4 is, like, the best gen, and I don't, I don't doubt that it's really good, but, like, that perception of a certain, um, a certain game being, like, the best is, like, extremely subjective. Like, I honestly, like, games are good and games are, like, not good. But in terms of, like, stuff that, like, changes your life, like, all that stuff is, like, your brain juices. Uh, you gotta be in the right mood, the right time in your life. You know what I mean? What am I even saying? I don't know. I I'm excited for Sinnoh Remakes when whenever that comes out, because I want to properly experience it. Because... I'll never be able to experience Gen 4 the way people remember it, because technology has changed and, uh, I don't know, like, graphics have moved on and expectations are different. But if the remakes are good, then I can kind of approximate how it felt for people who really love it to play, to play it. You know what I'm saying? Is it bad to want Gen 5 remake? I mean, it's gotta come eventually, right? I haven't played that either. I'm a Gen 2 baby. Yeah, me too. Gen 3 though? Is that good? Gen 1. I was a little bit too young when Gen 1 came out, but I do remember a little bit. I remember when everyone freaked out because they thought Mew was under a truck or something. Like, what, what's the deal with that? People will believe anything in the pre-internet era, huh? I want to ride this fish! Oh wait, Robot Friend came back. I didn't even realize. Did it come back from like the rune? Mew truck. Some say Mew is still hiding under that truck as we speak to this day. How do I ride again? What was the button to ride? Was it Z, Z? Oh, jeez. I gotta. I for, I'm not thinking straight because I'm streaming and I'm tired. Ooh, we're gonna get this thing. Did you ever use the glitches on Pokemon Red and Blue to get hundreds of Master Balls in? Rare Candies level 100 Pokemon and missing no. 
I got missing no yes, and I got rare candies. I don't remember farming uh, master balls with any glitch, but I remember having a ton of rare candies, and I remember leveling up an Articuno to level 100. Articuno is Gen 1, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, right? The legendary birds? Yo, look at this dog. Check out this dog. Wait, it's not a dog. It's a shark. Why'd I think it was a dog? Dogs don't exist. In world. Sharks are just ocean puppies? Interesting. Wait, what does it say? Press? Oh, Chester. Uh. Press X to meditate. Can we get an X in chat so we can all meditate? Everyone press X. Everyone press X with me. Everyone meditate with me. Let's go. Yeah, look at all you meditators. <laughs> Left stick to switch? What? What is this? Am I astral projecting? This is crazy. I don't know how to control my, my spirit. Oh, am I looking for something with my meditation vision? British people at the end of text be like, be like what? M X? Do they do that? All right, everyone press X to exit your meditation state. All right, you're free. You're, you're free from the shackles of your trance. Thank you for that experience. I feel like I've awoken. Is that a word? Awoken? All right. This is how you know that I'm not. I'm no longer meditating. Chester goes from the right side to the left side. Cheers, X. Do they do that? What does that represent? Like a kiss? You know when people say XO? I can never figure out which one. Which one of the X and the O is the kiss or the hug? You know what I mean? Because you can, you can, like, rationalize either way. Like, alright. You want me to confuse you permanently? I'm gonna give you guys... Permanent confusion psychic damage. By describing my confusion to you. Alright. I'm going to describe X as the kiss and O as the hug. And then I'm going to describe X as the hug and O as the kiss. And you'll understand that both are equally valid. So here we go with the first. The first configuration. Yo, why can't I go in? What's going on? So, so I'm playing devil's advocate here, but I'm first gonna tell you why X is the kiss and O is the hug. So, what is this ass shot right now? I can't get out of here. Help, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, how do I get out of here? Ah. Don't you say hugs and kisses? Some people say XO, like XOXO, right? Uh, 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 uh. So, here's why an X is a kiss. Because you got lips. Wait, is it the tightening of the lips? I thought that it was like a profile shot of two lips connecting. Like... Like, it's like a side view of two lips coming together. Think about it. It, it kind of looks like that. Just, just, just roll with me here, okay? How the fuck does an X look like a puckered lip? It looks like a fucking asshole. Maybe XOXO stands for asshole and hugs, huh? Well, I think, I like my X, I like mine better, actually. So we're gonna go with this, okay? I'm gonna go with my explanation. Uh, an X is a kiss because it's a side view of two lips that are joining. That's what the kiss, that's where the kiss comes from. It's better. No, it's not puckered lips. Are you kidding me? Uh, so. And then the O is a hug because it represents like the arms circling two people. Like the arms make a circle if you look at it from above. Thank you for the resub, Laguna. Thank you. Right? That's how it works, right? But here, here's the other way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch gears here. 
How about this, huh? An X is a hug. Because you can kind of crisscross your hug, like, you can put your arm under their armpit and your other arm around their other... You know what I mean? Like, you can kind of do that, like, diagonal hug where you're, like, one arm goes under and one arm goes under, like, over, so it's like an X, right? And then an O is... An O could be a kiss because it's, like, a puckered lip looks more like an O. Honestly, like, like let's be real. The O looks more like a puckered lip than, than the X does because you're going mwah, like you're you're bringing your lips together into a, a concise, compact circle shape, right? Ugh, never mind. Maybe I don't make any sense at all. I don't understand. Yo, how do I ride fish? I totally forgot. What did I join in on? We're debating whether or not X's and O's look like hugs or kisses. Can I get, like, a short film that looks like this? Wait, I think I've seen one before. Wasn't there something at Ottawa that kind of looked like this? But I, I didn't watch it because I thought it looked a little boring. <laughs> but I can tell you that it makes for a really good game. Maybe X is the precise target for your lips and O is a big target for your arms? What are you saying, Hazar? I... Uh, what? Stop that nonsense! Here, here's my new theory. X and O? The X stands for an asshole, and the O stands for a, an asshole. But you're like shitting. <laughs> you know? So when next time you see someone say XOXO, you, you can rest assured that we both know what it actually means. It's like... your sphincter. <laughs> Shit, I'm funny today. I can't prove you wrong. You can't prove me wrong. That's what we in the scientific community called falsifiability. I'm unfalsifiable, which therefore it means I'm right. That's how it works. No one proved me wrong. No one can prove me wrong. XOXO. <laughs> Pop my buckle? First of all, nice name. It really fits with your message. But second of all, that is highly inappropriate. We don't allow that kind of talk here in this stream, this wholesome stream. You go pop your buckle somewhere else. I'm just kidding, you can pop your buckle here. You know, maybe called me old fashioned, but uh, back in my day, popping my buckle meant something completely different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Valentine's Day is canceled. Give all chocolates and sweets to friends and otters instead. I mean, I can't say no to that. I am streaming on Valentine's Day. I hope you're excited. We don't work kids. Okay, good. It's best for you not to know. What the hell is stream chat right now? What the hell are you- what's, what's the matter with you, Kazuna? Huh? Eh? But also, Happy New Year. Jester, will you be my otter time? I'm s I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, hang on. Hold, hold my beer while I get booped. Hang on. But I'm sorry. Excellent. Otter time? Clearly a PlayStation quick time event for a romance game. Did you say otter time? I've heard a lot of uh I've heard a lot of otter related puns ever since I started streaming. And I got to say otter time is uh, <laughs> How do I say this without without hurting your feelings? I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know about that otter pun. You can't just... You can't just take a word and put otter on it. Like, that's not... That's... That's not how, uh... That's not how we do it around here. Otter time. Otter time? Yeah, but what... What time? Like, is... Uh, water is ever the pun? What? You guys are upsetting me. <laughs> is this revenge for saying XOXO is a puckering ass? If so, I deserve it. I'm not gonna be anyone's otter time because that pun is like a 3 out of 10 pun. Otter time. Gotta be 
Will you be my valentine? Oh, maybe. As an otter VTuber, you must prepare yourself for all of the pun- Yeah, I, I- I- but it doesn't mean that I can't say some puns are better than others, you know? I got- I'm an otter with standards. I can't just accept any old otter pun. Boo hoo boo hoo, juice up scream, juice up scream. <laughs> That's a cutie mode. I'll I'll, I'll be your otter time. I, I don't know what it means, and I don't I don't I don't like it, but I'll I'll do it. We're riding a gray reef shark. I don't know if they appreciate being rowed. What program do you use to move your character? I am using VTube Studio. It's a wonderful program. It costs like 20 something dollars, but the only catch is that you need an iPhone with Face ID in order for it to work. You have to download the app and download the uh, desktop client app, and they kind of talk to each other. But you can also use PRPR Live, which is free on Steam. We're not gonna- I don't- I don't really know what the point of meditating is, so we're not gonna meditate. Written? I like road. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ro road this guy. We're riding a humpback whale. Oh, am I going in there? Some Mass Effect shit over there. Oh, over there. Over. <laughs> over there. You have roden that whale. Do I get an achievement for riding whales? What happens if I go super deep? No, I, I don't want to go deep anymore. I want to go in the triangle. I am asleep. I'm a much more sleepy than 9%. I don't know what's going on. It's called... It's called the Humpback Ride? Isn't Rod Rodan the monster <laughs> from Godzilla? That's funny. Rodan. Ghidorah. Mothra. Yo, who else thinks Godzilla King of the Monsters as the movie sucks ass? Raise your, hand. Raise your paw, use your paw emote. If you thought that movie really could have been better. I hope that uh, Godzilla vs. Kong is a lot better than that last movie. Thank you. That looks like a hind paw. Is that like a hand paw or a foot paw? That is cute though. It's fine. Yeah, it just felt a little tedious, you know what I mean? Like, it had like 2% of awesome boss battles, but 90% This isn't what what Anthony would have wanted. I'm like, first of all, what are you talking about? Huh? What are you saying? Kaiju Chester movie when? Alright, do I have to have my like whole this is fetishistic speech again? Because I know some of y'all are really gonna like that. A little- a little more than- than intended. I want you guys to have a good time, but I don't want you guys to have, like, a good time, you know what I mean? Like, I want you guys to have fun, but I don't want you guys to have fun. Because that's not how we do. Who's Ant- I don't know. I forgot the name of the- the person that died in Godzilla. We need to beat this otter up. What? Why? What'd I do? I thought I was being funny today. Oh, I, do I need more triangle? Alright, let's get more triangle juice. We're gonna find more triangle juice to power up the... So we can get past the hymen. Why, who, why is everyone bapping each other? Stop bapping. No baps. No more baps tonight. I just wanna relax. Hmm. Oh, it didn't even read that. What did you say? <laughs> oh, did you say... I don't know. There's a there's a spam filter, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. But thank you for the bits. 
What is triangle juice? This, right over here. Look, we're gonna get the triangle juice. Hi, Joe. Why are you bonking? How's it going? Happy Kanye Fat Choi today. Sorry if anyone. Never mind. <laughs> What's wrong with- what's wrong with Chester Kaiju? Do you know how many people are super excited for Bowser's Fury? For the wrong reasons, and not because Mario games have a razor-sharp precision gameplay and highly tactile controls. They really want to play Bowser's Fury. What do I do with- do I gotta do something with these chains? Or do I just have to look for triangles? Because triangles I can do. But chains are hard. Uh, Suki, I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by. I must go. I'm sorry, but the coffee I was making burned. <gasps> oh no. I hope that your next coffee is the perfect roast. I hope your coffee is as roasted as people when they roast me for being... Have a good night. Yeah, anyone who's going to bed, have a good night. This game is putting me to sleep, but I gotta fight it. Check out this horse! Look at this horse! Isn't this a funny horse? Everyone's talking about the funny otter that does the stream, but no one talks about the funny uh, underwater horse. That's an eel? What are you guys talking about? Eels aren't real! It's a horse! It's a horse! I said it's a horse! And it's my house and it's my rules. Let's ride this let's ride this horse over here. <laughs> Check out this horse. We're gonna ride the horse. Guys, look, we're riding a horse. Whoa, this is like a surfboard. Check out this surfboard Gajinka. What are you talking about? Just, did you know did you guys know that they turned surfboards into real animals? Crazy. Wait, alright, so did I find enough juice for the door? We're gonna go through the door now. Karen, oh my gosh, thank you for the five gift subs, what? But you know me IRL, you shouldn't have to buy me gift subs. But I know the community appreciates it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, New Year's subs? Whoa, thank you. Ah, ah. I hope you have a happy new year. Everyone imagine those gift subs being wrapped in really nice red envelopes. I love listening while I'm at work. It helps my cruddy factory job go by faster. I only wish I could actually watch instead of listen. I will describe to you everything that's happening. I see a triangle. Also, I hope your workday is going well. Thank you for listening. Uh, who said that? Do Thank you, Sarsi. Do otters give birth like seahorses? Do otters give birth like seahorses? With the right attitude, anyone can give birth like a seahorse. I was at Costco and the number of people buying New Year snacks was crazy. I ordered late night pasta and wings. Both of those messages make me happy. Pregnant Chester. <laughs> All right, you guys are having too much fun again. We gotta get bonked. I'll fix it and get bonked. All right, let's follow the chain. Chris okay? Yo, is that crazy? Did some did everyone see Bemo Horse say that I'm describing everything as a horse? Bemo Horse, are you okay? Are you okay? You look a little bit I mean, why the long face? <laughs> I'm just Oh look a triangle. Look what I've got! Rectangles! That's from SpongeBob. Why horse? You f attempt fate with horny chat a lot? Why? Because... <laughs> because I say that if you have the right attitude, you could give birth like a seahorse? Because I don't immediately think about that as like a... Like a wink wink nudge nudge kind of comment. Because that is just to me like... A bizarre weird thing that I could say. And y'all are making it weird. <laughs> it's kind of like when people are like, <laughs> not with that attitude. 
Are you guys seriously hearing me say you could give birth like a seahorse and you're like, whew. <laughs> it's getting warm in here. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? But I love you guys. You guys are great. You, 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 you guys know I'm joking, right? I don't want to take, I, I hope no one takes that too seriously. Pregat, pregnant. What you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Kaiju Chester? I think Kaiju Chester would be cute. Maybe not. Um, you, do you guys think if I make giant Chester fan art and post it on Twitter, what percentage of the comments are gonna be like weirdly like, like, you know, you know what I mean, right? Well, how, like, how much of the comments are gonna be like, ooh, like, step on me, baby? 10%? 20%? 33%? 69%? Literally none? I'm getting like a wide range of answers here. Ugh, look at this funny horse. Yo, horses can't drink water like that? That's crazy. 46%? Negative 7%? I gotta take an average. I'm gonna average together all your numbers later and, and get a read on it. That's a hard question to try and answer. I know it's a bit of, you gotta do a bit of speculation, but... Hey, if Wall Street can speculate, why can't you? You know what I'm saying? Twitter replies make me wanna die. Twitter replies make me feel alive. I love reading Twitter replies. I don't reply to, I don't like answer all of them, but... I really like reading them. Sometimes they can get weird, but that's part of the fun. <laughs> it's like, what's Twitter gonna throw at me today, huh? You guys really test me with your weird comments sometimes, but... It's like a sport to me. Show me what you got. Don't show the bottom of your foot. So are you telling me that the percentage of weird comments will be different depending on whether or not Chester is stomping on some skyscrapers or not? Yo, is King Kong and Godzilla some freaky shit? Is that some like, weirdo shit? Is that why everyone's so excited about the movie? I thought it was just like badass. Extremely? What? What? You're telling me that it's just not awesome? I thought it was awesome. Not like, hell yeah, awesome. I thought it was like, hell yeah, awesome. You know what I mean? What if Oat Cow Chester was a model? What would happen other than me being filled with pure joy? You know, I, I, I knew drawing cow themed Chester would get some people excited, but I made sure that it wasn't lingerie. Would it, you know, it, Maybe this is a little too fourth wall breaky for you guys, but uh, I gotta be careful what I post. You know what I'm saying? Are under Whoa, Zipply, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you so much. How was your stream? How's everyone doing? Welcome. Uh, we're playing Abzu today. Did you guys know I can't swim? Can you swim? Let me know in the comments. To scale Anthro Godzilla and other Kiju. We're, we're trying to decide right now, and I hope you can contribute to this conversation, but we're trying to decide whether or not Godzilla vs. Kong is a fetish movie. Uh, please let me know, because I, I, I thought it was just cool. What is that raid image? Oh, that's a fan submission from August, a beloved memer in our community. Uh, Joe, what are your thoughts on, on Godzilla vs. Kong? Are you excited for the movie? Are you excited for it? Or, or are you excited for it? You know? Let me know. Because I know you have really good movie taste. Is that the new VTuber? Yes! Yes it is! Thank you for noticing, Zipli. I'm not a monster fanboy. What? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not enough. Uh. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I don't actually know. You can finish. The, you can. I'll. I'll let your imagination take it from there. 
I thought it was out already. No, the trailer. I thought the trailer was just out. I've only seen the trailer. I don't think it's out. Uh, I could be wrong. Don't dox me. <laughs> Yo, look at all these buttholes! Guys, look! It's a whole wall full of them. Let's go in the big one. The alpha. Yo, it's not letting me in. Chris, please? Please what? Please be my valentine? Well, now that you put it that way, I mean, maybe. Oh, we can't- we can't go in. You were going to say meatloaf is your favorite food. What?! I've never had meatloaf in my life. I can't eat meatloaf if I am myself a meatloaf. Uh, are you- are you like hip- trying to hypnotize me? You're like, you will- you are going to say that meatloaf. That you love meatloaf. Like, these aren't the droids you're looking for. I'm sorry, you what? I've never had meatloaf. I- should I? You can't exactly go to a restaurant and say, give me the meatloaf. It's kind of like something that you just have to... Wait, was that water in... We're... Are we underwater or is that water? What's going on? Is that like Goo Lagoon water from Spongebob? He's pulling a Jojo. The next words out of your mouth will be I love me love. Oh. You know I'm making Jojo references, but I don't, I don't know Jojo, so... Blah! Blah! Is Gatorade? I don't know what meatloaf is, but it sounds disgusting. Raphael is the is usually the first one to be like, I don't know what the hell a bagel is. But I think it's really cool because it gives me like a unique perspective at into what life is like in Brazil. I'll be honest, like it's almost tragic how like Eurocentric your like the Anglo American world like doesn't pay attention to the southern hemisphere. Unless, unless they're thinking about it for, for colonial purposes. Like, people pay very little heed to like what goes on in like Latin America, and like in Brazil, or like South, or Southeast Asia. Like, it's just like, I don't know what this, this sort of like erasure is, but it's definitely not cool. So, you know, I, I don't find myself often thinking about what kind of foods uh, people eat in Brazil, but it is very interesting to me. I would love to visit. A bagel is a savory donut. You know, bagels and donuts do suspiciously have the same kind of shape. But they're rarely associated with each other. Wow! We're unearthing an ancient water civilization. Isn't bagel made with honey? What? I don't think so. But if you put honey on a bagel, I would probably- I don't think people usually do that, but I would eat it. It's like concentrated bread? Yeah, yeah, it's like a thicker kind of bread. But if it's super fresh, then it's not like- It's not very chewy. I'm spoiled because last- no, well, two summers ago I was in Montreal, and I'm a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker otter, and uh, we know our bagels here. But I can't say I'm like the biggest like bagel expert. Peanut butter honey is the best combo. That does sound really good. I, I do want to eat that. All right, I'm gonna dip. See you later, Chris. I'll see you later, Zipley. Thanks for the raid. I hope you have a good night. Montreal bagels are honey glazed usually. What? How have I not had a honey? Also, hi, Corinne. How's it going? How's your day? Um. Honey bagels, yeah, that does sound good. You're incredulous what? I don't even remember what I say the moment after I say it. <laughs> so I don't- I have no recollection of saying what? You guys just have to continue- continuously say surprising things. And then I will continuously react incredulously. 
I'll make the next incredulous response extra incredulous just for you. Just for you, Hazar. Check out this crazy looking horse. This is like a big horse. We're gonna try to ride it. Onward, steed, we shall go. New favorite streamer. Oh my gosh, thank you. What? That. Ah. I'm so glad you're having a good time. What? What? <laughs> what? What, huh? What? Do you remember saying Chester has human parents? Yes, of course I remember. That's part of the canon. Chester has human parents. That's part of the story. It's actually not part of the story, but it is true. No! What is that horse doing? No! Stop eating the little horses! This is a crazy game. Did Chester's parents lay Chegg or not? No, they gave birth the regular people away. Where am I going? Where am I going? I feel like I can't see where I'm going. What? That was a close one. Does he see me? You're my favorite streamer too. What? You guys, you're being so nice. You're gonna make me... What? No! Oh my god! They had to do a C-section for C for Chester? Hey, fun fact about my actual mother and myself. I am a C-section baby. I was C-sectioned out of there. I think I was... Bagels are made with honey and brown sugar. But the savory Whoa. ingredients outnumber the sweet, so you only taste a hint. Whoa, what? I didn't know that. But apparently they're honey glazed in Montreal, which I sounds I am just better. giving you all my bits. Stay adorable. Also, who made your VTuber avatar? Uh, thank you, thank you, John Blue. Ah, oh, thank you. I made it. I made it myself. I spent a few weeks making this Chester. I worked on it on and off uh, outside of work, because I do have a full-time job. Um, and I'm really, I'm really proud of it. How old are you? Well, I am old. I'm old. As old as the sea, as they say. The game is too pretty. Why are you blushing? Because you guys are saying that I'm, that I'm, that you like my stream and I'm, I'm just a little flustered. Got it, you're 50. Is the sea 50 years old? I'm pretty sure the sea has been lo around longer, a lot, like a lot longer than that. Oh shit, these triangles look kind of crazy. I'm gonna try to fix them. Oh shit! Whoa! Oh god! I didn't know you could die in this game! What? Wait, am I powered up or am I dying? Was that supposed to happen? Ah! 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 Oh. Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck? Bad triangles. That was shocking. You're right. You're so right. They're like mines, I guess. Oh, we're playing Minecraft? Oh wait, I gotta stop blushing because I got shocked. Wait, that I hit the wrong button, now I'm sad. I'm back now. In NYC, bagels are traditionally made with malt syrup, not honey or brown what? sugar. How do you guys know so much about bagels? Like, I didn't realize that I attracted the bagel community. Teach me. Teach me everything you know about bagels. You are the cutest. What? Use use command exclamation point. Cute. <laughs> oh, maybe I can turn on the light bulb using my my shock powers. Uh, sorry. There's there's a cooldown on it, so don't feel bad if you don't get a response. You can just wait a few seconds and try again. I run a bagel meetup at my local- Whoa, at your local anime con? Holy crap, whoa, that's so cool. How are you so interesting and awesome, Momo? 
How do you do it? Chester is my favorite streamer as well. Let also me... alternate universe where Chris and by extension Chester are from Brooklyn and have a strong Brooklyn accent. Uh, don't get on my case for- also thank you so much my god, thank you follower. Don't get on my case for this, but uh, what does the Brooklyn accent sound like? Is it like, hey, uh, hey, I'm, I'm Bro from Brooklyn. Is it like that? Is it like a, like a Danny DeVito kind of voice? Is that what that is? Follow the left cable. Wait, so I'm not supposed to get zapped, right? That's bad. Because I kind of like it now. Ooh. Oh, uh, wait, it's Ty. How's it going? I am absolutely zonked? What? What is a zonk? Is that like a zaddy? Oh, oh, here, here's, here it is. Here's the triangle we're looking for. Zonked out? You, you kids and you're re replacing uh, the first letter of a word with Z instead of whatever letter is supposed to be there. Am I a Zotter? <laughs> I haven't been Dibra for weeks? What, is, what does that mean? Bernie Sanders has a type of Brooklyn accent, but it's more of an old Jewish accent. Oh, true. Gen Z Otter. I am unfortunately a millennial. The current punching bag of the internet. Apparently TikTok is like roasting the shit out of millennials. It's true, it's true. Millennials are getting on in years, and when you get on in years, you become uncool. You Zoomers will experience it as well. Oh no! Look at that friend! Look, we gotta save the horse! No! No! I will save you, even though you killed the robot friend from earlier. How old do you have to be to be a Zoomer? I believe you have to be born in 1996 or later. But it, there's not a solid cutoff, so maybe that doesn't apply to everybody. Maybe it's, uh, it really depends. It's relative to who's around you, perhaps. The soft cutoff is like... Millennials remember a time before the internet was, like, completely ubiquitous. Like, they remember, like, pagers and dial-up and, you know, stuff like that. Um, analog technology, you know? And, like, Gen Z was born into, like, a digital age. So, like, the concept of having to, like, Oh, I, I can't use the internet because I we gotta make a few phone calls is like really weird and unusual. And you guys don't even know how slow dial-up is. Have you peed in the water yet? Oh, I'm way ahead of you. What do you think that like little golden stream is? Oh, it's not there anymore. I guess I finished. What comes after Zoomers? Oomers? Uh, Actually, I don't know what comes after. But I'm sure they have a symbol for it. Numers. Woomers. Hot Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, where am I going? Oh, let me look around to see if the camera's trying to lead my eye anywhere. Oh, that's new. Is that where I came from or where I'm supposed to go? Oh no, my stream is behind. Ah, oh, try pausing and unpausing. P is stored in the triangles. I mean, that's just- that's just basic biology. Oh, I got kicked in the triangles. Yo, you ever like- One time I was in gym class in- in middle school and we were playing dodgeball, right? And I got hit right in my pyramids. Oh god, that was so painful. Dude, when you get kicked in your pyramids, like, you just, like, you just have that, like, sharp pain. And you, like, get so, you get, like, immediately nauseous and you, like, want to throw up. Make sure you protect your family pyramids. What the? Ah! Ugh. You can't catch a break underwater. 
You got kicked in the dodecahedrons? Holy fuck. I'm glad you're okay. Do otters have pyramids instead of balls? What are balls? Can someone... Can someone tell me what that is? Is that like a... Is, is this some kind of generational thing? Like, maybe because I'm not gen... Generation Z, I don't know what balls are. I did receive a ball in the Awugas one... What are you saying? You, you might as well speak in French, right? Is it because you're in, uh... In Quebec? Is that, is that why I can't understand what you're saying? I'm sorry, I don't understand your fancy French-Canadian words. Uh, how do I get through this, uh, thing? Oh, do I need the power of lightning? In the name of Hades, I accept this message. Wah! <laughs> okay, time to go through the thing. That's not what I needed to do. Ugh, I'm so confused. Ah! Oh, that, uh... I'm gonna die. Am I in the wrong place? Has anyone played this game and can tell me where to go? I realize I, I learned that Darren Korb, the composer for Hades, not only voices Zagreus, but he also voices Skelly. And also apparently he can beat the game in like 12 minutes. So that's what I that's what I'm saying. That's get you a man who can do both, you know? He's a speedrunner? Apparently he's really good at the game. I gotta go. Work in the morning. It's been chill. Bye. Ah! The real gas. Thank you for stopping by. It's been a pleasure. I hope you have a good sleep and a good work day tomorrow. You're really good at the game? At this game? Because this game is harder than Hades. But if you mean Hades, uh, I guess I'm alright, because... I beat the game in 23... My first clear was in 23 attempts. I really wanted to flex and get it under 20, but it just wasn't gonna happen. I can't tell if Chris is being serious or not when they say they don't know what balls are. No, I'm, I'm joking. I know what balls are. And uh, I actually did get hit in the balls with a dodgeball, and I did hurt a lot. It sucked. What am I doing right now? I'm slightly upset that you beat it in less tries than me. <laughs> Uh, is it because I brand myself as a bad gamer? And what does that make you, huh? A novice. A fool. A baby. I got really lucky with my boons. I, I really couldn't have beat it without, um... Stubborn something, whatever. I think it's Demeter and Athena. Duo boon. That really saved my hide. Just a reminder, you're cute. U W U. Oh, thank you. You you're uh, use command exclamation point cute. You had an actual cheating build for real. I really did. And you know what? My build wasn't great until the very end. I had a ton of money, and uh, I just bought all the stuff from Caron's shop. And basically, all my like cheese boons came from the shop. I really didn't think I would beat it, but I only had. See, I started fighting the boss with only. Uh, how many death defiances did I have? I think I had two death defiances, which I guess is not that bad. I had the opportunity to ref refill all of them, but that's where the uh, Athena barrier came in, and I was like, oh shit, this one's legendary. Whoa, legendary! UWU. -U. Yo, look at this horse! I am. For all you splat heads out there. Oh no, you're going the wrong way. Get out of here. Inkling Chester. Maybe. I used to only draw Splatoon fan art, like that was like my main thing. But now I only draw Chester fan art and people love it. And I'm having fun too. Alright! Woomy. Lock no, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the uh thank you for the resub.
how do I go in? How do I go in the the whirlpool? Let me in! Let me in! It's not working. I'm just. What am I doing right now? You mean fan art? I gotta see your Splatoon art. I used to follow all the good artists on Tumblr. Uh, I mean, I guess you'd have to dig for it, but I haven't drawn Splatoon fan art in a long time. Well, I mean, I drew one thing really somewhat recently, but it, it was okay. Like, I, I used to draw, like, a lot. I guess if you go on my Instagram, it's not too hard to find. Press- do I have to meditate? Well, we'll see what's up. Maybe we can learn something. I will? You'll go to my Instagram? I don't even use Instagram anymore. Instagram just died. Like, I don't enjoy Instagram anymore. I kind of wish everyone would just, like, agree to leave Instagram and find a better alternative. I have 69... Uh, 690 channel points. Ooh, congrats. Instagram is a joke, and they're really pushing their TikTok clone, and it's like... It's harsh in my vibe right now, you know? So I'm almost exclusively on Twitter now. If Twitter disappeared, I don't know what I would do. I'm trying to diversify a little bit. Like, I don't know what to do. Does anyone have any ideas for me to start a TikTok? Because I know that, like... Because let, cause let's be real. Twitter and Twitch don't have the biggest... Um... Audience bases. If we're talking YouTube and, and TikTok, like, that's where the real people are. Like, that's just numbers, you know? Like... There are so many people on that platform, and I just want to reach as many people as possible. Because... I don't know. It just feels like... The more eyes I have on my content... The more a big number go up, and the more I get happy. Make a fur affinity. There... Aren't that many people on fur affinity, are there? I feel like... Fur affinity is very niche, right? I want to go where the mainstream numbers are. It's all about those numbers. I don't know, I mean, I just- it's nice, right? Like, uh... I... I don't know. It just feels like... There's people who don't even know that the, that there's an ot- that, that the funny otter play video game. And I want to spread the good word. We're just a number to Chris. But I love numbers. I love each number dearly. <laughs> I wanna be where the numbers are. I wanna see, wanna see them dancing. Chicken Nugget just hit 1 million TikTok followers. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Like, like think of it this way, right? Uh, TikTok compared to Twitter. Chicken Nugget posts all of their animations on Twitter as well as TikTok. And they're really cute. They have 1 million TikTok followers. And they have about 50,000... Twitter followers. Think about how many... Think about how much difference that is in terms of exposure. Like, if people are exclusively on Twitter, they're not, like, there aren't that many people that are just on Twitter, and if you're only on Twitter, then people just are just straight up not seeing your work. Um, I think exposure is really important. Exposure is bullshit when people want to give you exposure instead of money, but when it comes to fostering your own channel, exposure is really important because you can have the best content in the world, but if people don't see it, then is it really there? Twitter gets replaced with a social media platform called BeatTalk where you have to post something every hour or your heart stops. Wait. You're telling me that I don't have to post every hour? What? You're telling me that I'm not living in some bizarre Saw-like situation where I have to keep tweeting or else I die? This whole time I've been free? Oh crap, what have I been doing? I- I- I could've been... I could've gone on so- I- I, I could've gone outside and touched some grass, but... Wait, no! This whole time I've been suffering. Joking around on that, what's the word? Stream? <laughs> up where they stream, up where they pog, up where they... Uh... Ah! 
all day in the sun. Otter exposure. Yes. Otter ah! exposure. I want to... I want to reach the masses. How do I do it? What do I do for funny TikTok? What do I do? Do I just talk? Do I tick or do I talk? Like a clock. Have you guys seen it? Never mind. Um, All right. Macho, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much. Oh my cog. Is that gear lubricant leaking from your, uh, your retinal orifices? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Steampunk Twins Find You Crying in the Bathroom. It's the best video I've ever seen in my life. I guess it's a little bit old now. Yeah, look up Steampunk Twins Find You Crying in the Bathroom. It'll change your life. Yo, what is this? What the fuck? I feel like I'm unearthing a conspiracy right now. Why do I have the irresistible urge to give the adorable out ah. of all of my money? Ah. Pear pie, you don't have to give me your money. It's enough that you hang out. Ah, uh, but uh, if you if you do sub or or something or give bits, I I, I appreciate it a lot. No one feel like I I don't know. I just just a lonely otter. Just wanna, just wanna hang out with some cool peeps. But you guys have been very kind. Who's sleeping? Who's sleeping? Hey there! I'll see you later. Yeah, I'm. A, I've gotta head out. I hope you have a good night. Just as I suspected. God is a triangle. What about my soul? I wasn't using it anyways. You'd be surprised what that soul can do. Girl, what what that soul do though? <laughs> Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Whoa, what? Was that me? What? Did I miss it? It looked like I could touch the orb. Let me see what that soul do. Uh, oh, I, I should have mentioned this, but, uh, I have a new emote, if, if those of you have not... If, if you guys are, haven't been on the Tuesday Hades stream, I have a new emote. It's the heart emote. Uh, it's the heart. Because it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day weekend. And we're gonna... We're gonna have a really chill stream on the weekend for real. It is cute. Oh, thank you. Bark shark? Oh my god, are you in the game? Because I've seen a lot of sharks. I mean horses. Uh-oh, I feel like I'm in triangle hell. Yo, this reminds me of Mass Effect 2 when you finally go through the Omega 4 relay or whatever. What the heck is this sort of fucking persona-ass velvet room music? This is a nightmare. What? Oh! I gotta work this weekend, sadly. Ah! I hope you have a lovely weekend of working, though. I mean, working can be lame, right? I hope it's as painless as it can possibly be. Triangles hurt. Ugh. Spreading some B-Day love. Yeah, hang out with me on Valentine's Day. Ah! I mean, I ain't got any plans on Valentine's Day, do you? I mean... What's going on? I think we're in hell right now. And I want to get out of here. Maybe this triangle is friendly. Uh-oh. It has an eyeball. What the fuck? What? The shark is the key? What did it do to the shark? Did it suck it in, or...? What the fuck? It killed it! No!
I don't understand what the story is, but I am scared. What do I do? Oh fuck. I can't believe the shark just went inside the shark hole. This game this game is giving me a little bit of anxiety to begin with, but now holy crap, I'm so sorry. I thought this was a relaxing swimming game and now it's like this crazy ass ancient technology is eating sharks and spitting them out. Shark hole. Did you not see the shark hole? Ugh. It's okay. I, I'm confident that it's gonna get better from here on out. Like, not, you know, not like it's a bad game because it's really beautiful, but like, things will be a lot less stressful. Whew. Oh, Beto, hi. Hi, hi, Beto. How's it going? We, we saw a shark go inside a shark hole and now he's dead and we're gonna see if we can bring him back. <gasps> he's alive! Speak to me. Speak to me, Jaws. Tell my wife. I'm, I'm the shark. Tell my wife. I'm a shark. Wait, I'm a robot? Was that a spoiler? Was that something I just discovered in the process of getting hit by the... by the big bad? I thought I was human. What the hell? That's crazy. That's why I don't have to breathe. This is insane. This game is madness. Can robots T-pose? Are you kidding me? They're built to T-pose. No one can T-pose like a robot can. You died doing what you loved? What did you die doing, Orin? Pro Protag is a Powotogen? I guess so. You know, I, um... That's, a ro that's the robot furry, right? Because I actually just looked up what that was. I saw a lot of my followers have that on their bio, and they have those little robo furry things. And I didn't even know that was a thing. Y'all are so creative. Who who came up with that? Did was there like one person who who invented that species? Because it really took off. Protogens are cool. Is there like an established lore to this? Is it like a reference to some kind of media, like a show or a comic or something? Or is it just like a completely homegrown fan-made species that just emerged out of the ether? Good question. I, I think that's really neat. Holy shit, we actually did go back on land. I was joking earlier about how like, there would be a land section to this game, but... There really do be a land section of the game. How do I walk? I met a protogen in real life, how was that? I saw Protogen's first on Furry IRL. Did you guys know that I was on the front page of Furry IRL once? That was when I peaked. Someone had to tell me that. And then I was checking the comments and then someone said I'm married. I'm not married. I don't know who came up with that idea. <laughs> the only thing I'm married to is to my work. When you were talking about eating soap, yeah. You're married to chat? Till death do us part. But it wasn't that someone was just like making it up, like they said it with such confidence. Like, someone was like, oh my god, who are they? And then they, they, like the response was like, he's married. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> and where are you getting your information from? This game is really pretty. I, I like it a lot. I just, I just don't, I don't like swimming. Uh, where do I go? Maybe Chester should be married? Oh. Sunday, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna follow the chain. Oh, someone pissed in the water. Do you see that? to the sea. There she blows. Pea water. 
I don't know what my objective is. Should I make a protogen sono without the visor? If you don't know what it looks like, look. It up there cute, but like ugly cute. I'll have a look uh, after the stream. Hugs are ugly cute. I agree, they are kind of ugly cute. You guys um heard about that new 3D Ghibli movie? I watched it. It's called Earwig and the Witch. Yo, I did not like that movie. That's all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> Moving on. It can't be Sergal because Sergals are problematic. What? First of all, I don't even fully know what a Sergal is. Some kind of- I think I remember some people saying Sergal on their bio and it was some sort of like lizard looking thing, right? Some kind of dragon thing? Are they problematic? I don't understand. Sergals are- are what? I don't need- what? Sergal is cheese? What? Huh? I, uh... What? Y'all, y'all are like, really creative. Um, I'm talking about the movie Earwig and the Witch. It is by Goro Miyazaki, and it is on HBO Max. And I did not enjoy it. Okay, do I go up the stairs? I saw some stairs. I just- I'm sorry that you guys have to watch me, like, swim really, really haphazardly. Oh no, I, I can't go up these stairs, but I, I- it seemed like... So I guess I gotta get to the switch. Can I get around? Oh yeah, can I go to that? Can we step back a bit? What's wrong with Protogen? There's nothing wrong with it, right? I don't- I don't know- look, I'm not- look, I don't know what's going on in chat. Maybe we should move on. <laughs> I don't know what the, like, furry drama is. Um, I think- I love seeing people's designs and characters and sonas and all that. I think it's all great. Furry drama is unavoidable? Well, I guess I'm not a furry then, because I will do everything in my power to avoid drama. Even though my name is Cheemstar. That's right, I am Cheemstar. That's me. Uh, I think the door is opening, right? I gotta get around? Because I see the chains moving. We're gonna get to the bottom of this conspiracy. We're gonna figure out how to defeat Giant Triangle once and for all. So help me, God. No drama for the mama. You said it. Why is Nightbot saying that I'm not sleepy when I'm the sleepiest I've ever been on stream? Put something on head. Can I suggest a block of cheese on your head? Like the round ones? Of course. Of course, Hot Pie. I'm on it. Images stop trying to save web MPs. No one wants a web MP. What even? Uh, not not web MP. A web P file. What the heck is a web P? No one wants a web P. That's not. That's not what I'm looking for. Hello. Maybe I can convert it to a PNG. Web P. 
What is a WebP file? I swear it's like a hoax. Like, I don't even think WebPs are real. I, back in my day, we only had bitmap files and PNGs and JPEGs. Now we got all sorts of crazy ass shit. We got like, JPEG. We got like, JXIFs and stuff. Like, people, you're just making stuff up now. I wonder if I can open it with XNView, which is what I use. Oh, it does work. Can I save it as a PNG? <gasps> Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? If you want to see a proto without a visor, look in spam on the Discord. Oh, I'll check it later. Um, if you guys are friendly, please join the Discord. It's really happening over there. Um, we're trying to keep the vibes good there. You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't want to overwork my my tireless mods. So, mm. maybe. Can y'all believe? <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say this. Never mind. I take it back. Um, we're going to add the cheese wheel here. Oh, and also use ex the code exclamation point YouTube, because I only have like 500 YouTube subscribers and I post my clips there, like my stream clips that usually end up on Twitter, and I'm trying to hit that Twitter, uh, uh not Twitter, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to break into that YouTube, that YouTube, uh, I'm getting distracted. We're gonna get cheese on my head because it was so requested. Cheese time! Let's go! We're gonna get the cheese going. Let's go. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Check out that RuneScape cheese. What? into the YouTube people. Do you have- do we have free reign to make cheese puns while you wear the hat? I think chat can make some good puns. You can make cheese puns, yeah. But they better be good cheese puns. I don't want any foul cheese puns. Or you're gonna make me- you're gonna make me feel blue, cheese. Chester Cheeto? Dangerously cheesy. All my puns are cheesy. The only thing cheesy about me is my attitude. My sense of humor. Alright. Alright. You can't- you can't all use the Gouda pun. You have to come up with some new puns. Like, I can't come on bear this any longer. Like that. There. You can have that one for free. That one's kind of- that one- I admit that was a bit of a niche cheese joke. I don't know cheeses? How dare you. I'm assigning you homework. Go eat more cheese. These cheese puns aren't very sharp. <laughs> sharp Chester. Okay, I am just so brainlessly wandering this little temple, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fed up with these cheese puns. Be serious, you guys. I can't believe you've done this. Now nah, that's what I'm talking about. Can I- can I combine otter with mozzarella and make a pun without a- with, like, without, like, a setup? Like, otter- ot- like, otzarella? <laughs> ah, never mind. Oops, 
Pasarela. Chester, will you bree mine? With a pun like that, how could I resist? How could I resist Stephen Hunt? I am saving for a maid, Chester. Hmm, a, a wise investment. Alright, I think this game takes like two hours for like regular people, but for a dummy like me, I might be swimming around these parts for eons without knowing where to go. A tornado destroyed a French cheese factory. All that was left was debris. <laughs> debris. Yosh uh, Yoshiro, thank you for the Prime sub. Whoa, thank you so much. And, um, Game & Talk, I think I missed you. Thank you for the Prime sub as well. And Kim Bartley, six minutes ago, thank you for the Prime sub. I'm so sorry about that. I got distracted by the cheese. I like to read everyone if, if, if I can help it. Diego the Dingo, I'm so glad you followed. Welcome to the party! I know I don't read too many people's follows, but I do appreciate it a lot. Yo, how do I get through this door? Uh, I don't know how to get through. I see the chains moving, but I don't know what to do from there. I'm lost in the cheese sauce. Ask it nicely? After the way it disrespected me? How could I? Oh, wait, maybe I have to do this. No, it's already moving. Oh, maybe there's another chain that I have to do. What's a Nautilus? Some kind of horse? Now you're thinking with portals. What's the big glowy thing at the bottom? I opened it already, I think. Chris, you didn't start the other chain, just unlocked it. Thank you, Autumn. I, I just figured it out. <laughs> but I do appreciate it. I was like, wait a minute. One chain? That means their other chain, too. Nimbus user, thank you for continuing a gift sub. I don't know why Streamlabs does not like to read those out. And I'm sorry to all of you who have continued a gift sub and I have not seen it. I appreciate you so much. You, you're, you're keeping this train going, you know? My, I'm shrimping right now. I'm shrimping and simping. My my posture is no good. Let me readjust. Ugh. Whew, that's a lot better. Maybe water is small horse? Don't blow my mind at this hour. Still thinking of cheese jokes? Don't think too hard. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Why do you have to remind me of my posture? Because I want, I'm, I'm looking after you. Nautilus is a good weapon in Splatoon. I found your content recently, but it's so relaxing. The vibes are great. Whoa! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I feel like my vibes are better when I'm sleepy as hell. Because I'm not even pretending. Like, I don't try to be exciting. But when I'm awake, I'm like, Alright, chat, let's go! And I'm like, alright. Maybe that kind of attitude doesn't suit me. Oh, I'm forgetting to breathe again. Oof, let me breathe a little bit. Why is there water in the water? That's what I'm saying! I think it's like a Goo Lagoon type situation. You literally sound the same always? What? Are you serious? I feel so different. I'm Swiss Yim. Now that's, that's a funny one, because I've never heard that before. I'm not being sarcastic, I've li no one's literally ever said that about my name. I like it. I do like Swiss on a good sandwich. Oh, cannonball! I really love your- oh my gosh, Pear Pie, thank you so much. Thank you, you're very sweet. I'm glad you're here. That's what the Goo Lagoon is, isn't it? A brine pool. Hmm. Mm. 
I'm forgetting to breathe, so forgive me while I breathe a little bit. What did Mr. Cheese say to the shop assistant when she selected the wrong size dress for? His wife, that one feta. That won't feta? Oh, that won't fit? Boo! Boo! Two out of ten pun. Boo! Everyone shame Kipplroy. Shame, 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 shame. Oh, that won't feta! Okay, that it's a little bit better than I thought. I'm sorry, that's my mistake. I have to take responsibility for my error. That's like a seven out of ten pun. Which is pretty good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Shame me instead. Shame me. I am to be shamed for misunderstanding the joke. Water in the water is real life in real life. Corinne, how high are you right now? You can be honest. Oh, Diego, I saw that. I saw that accidental mistake of a cheer. Everyone shame Diego. I'm just kidding. No, thank you. Thank you for... You know, it's the thought that counts. You should have a drink water... Or, no, you should have a remember to breathe reward. I should. But I feel like breathing is something that I want to remember on my own. If I come to... I don't want to become codependent on you guys reminding me to breathe. What am I supposed to do when I'm not streaming, huh? Can't breathe at all? Then I have to stream constantly. No, it's real. There's di there's different water at the bottom of the ocean. What? 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 I... This is too much... This is too much for me. I can't accept that there's different water in water. Let me know and I'll PM you every two seconds reminding you to breathe. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Breathing is so... Talking Heads voice? Why is there- What is the Talking Heads voice? Is that like a sitcom voice? Like, what's the deal with airline? Like, Seinfeld? Like, why is there water in the bottom of the ocean? Uh, it, like, uh... The bottom of the ocean is made entirely of pee water. That's where it all goes. How am I going to sleep at night if there's water at the bottom of the ocean? I know, that's what I'm thinking too, Max. We finally found the answer to the question. Uh, to the age-old question. Uh, the age-old question in the form of a song, Under the Sea. We know what's under the sea. The Talking Heads are a band most famous for the song Once in a Lifetime. Oh! You might know it. Sorry for being dense. I'm gonna look into it. I got a cheese on my head. So I can't think. I got holes in my brain. Oh, let's talk to the Leoplerodon horse. It's a Leoplerodon, Charlie. You guys remember that? Magically, Leoplerodon. Pea is stored in the ocean? Now Am I doing this right? I still don't know how to use you. Twitch properly. You did it! You did it! Thank you, Diego. Thank you. You made the talking voice do the talking. So the cheese is squishing your brain, stopping the think. Oh, I don't need cheese on my head to not think. Thank you very much. I can do that all on my own. Is it a magical Leoplerodon? Sure is. 
Aw, oh, crap, they took my kidney. That guy, Film Cow, makes really, really good shit. Crawls into one of the holes in your brain. What? Okay, you can stay. It's nice to have a little friend. What a good horse. Are you talking about me? Thank you. I know you're talking about Charlie the Unicorn. My favorite film cow film is called Detective Kit Kat. Look it up. I really like that one. I don't think it's like super viral or anything. Well, now I gotta watch it again. I really like Detective Kit Kat. It's really cute and funny. Hmm. This, when I'm not in the water, it kind of gives me like Breath of the Wild vibes, right? God, I miss Breath of the Wild. Kit Kat was pretty good, not gonna lie. Isn't it cute? Yo, these vases make me want to break them like in Hades. If someone crawls into your brain, can they talk to you like they were your con conscience? Yes. But I have to, if I have too many consciences, I may go insane. Film cow is multiple people, I think. I'm pretty sure it's just that one dude, am I wrong? He's kind of like a whiz. He voices all the characters. Jason Steele is his name. I think he has a collaborator, but it's very idiosyncratic. Here, Cheester, since you are one of the best daughters on Twitch, take all my biddies. Ah, oh, my gosh, thank you. Sparks. Attack. Twist, thank you, thank you for raiding. How was your stream? I'm sad that I can't raid you more because of my schedule. Oh my gosh, I hope you're doing well. Everyone go, we're gonna do a shout out. It's shout out time. I urge you all, I pl I'm pleading with you to follow Twist CMYK. They are the funniest and it's good. So we're playing Abzu, and I am tired, and I have a cheese on my head. And every fish is a horse, don't ask. Don't ask about the horse. Hey, you know, um, what's with the cheese? Someone just wanted cheese on my head, so I put cheese on my head. Um, last, no, two summers ago, for the first time, what the heck? Is this like a final boss sequence? What the, ah, ah, huh? all right, well, Two summers ago, it was the first time I've ever heard anyone pronounce CMYK phonetically. They pronounced it SMIC. Which, if you'd ask me, sounds like a slur, so I, don't, I almost don't even want to say it. But as far as I know, it's it's not offensive. They just say SMIC. And I'm like, what? Say that again? I double took, like, a cartoon. And I kind of like it, not gonna lie. Smick derogatory. But if Smick is phonetic, then RGB has got to be phonetic too. R As a Mexican, I give you permission. Oh, I don't want. I, I mean, maybe it does sound dangerously similar to something else that I don't. I dare not say. So maybe, maybe I shouldn't say it. <laughs> maybe that's why it hasn't caught on. You know, it didn't strike me as immediately offensive, but uh, whatever it is. <laughs> you were goob. Rage? <laughs> Rage and Smick? That sounds like a buddy cop film. Your two OCs, Rage and Smick, they're best friends and boyfriends and roommates, and they solve crimes together. Came back to Cheese Chester. Welcome, Scoonja. Welcome. There's cheese on my head. It's kind of nice. Do you guys ever just like want like a nice weight on your head? Like, do you ever just like put a text? Do you ever like just balance a textbook on your head and just leave it there for a few seconds? Like, it's kind of suppressing my anxiety a little bit. You you've never done that? You don't just want like a comfortable weight? It's kind of like a weighted blanket, but if you put it on your head, you get a little squish. Try it! Take a textbook and gently balance it on your head for a few seconds. And just- and then take it off. I swear, it'll- it'll- it feels good. Just 
gently squish, and you will be healed. Why are you guys so weirded out? Is this weight? This cheese is like a nice weight. It's like not too heavy, so that it's like crushing me. But it's like nice and it's got a, like a it's got like a nice heft to it. I feel like my brain is expanded. So what am I doing now? I'm seeing a lot of horses. People don't balance stuff on there. That's what I'm saying, Bellis. We're normal. They're weird. Never question yourself. You are beautiful. Oh, do I follow the chains again? I'm taking a cue from the earlier gameplay. I get Squish good. Squish is great. Instructions unclear, I broke my neck. That ain't on me, that's on you. That's, that's not my fault. Touch the butt. Alright. I mean, it is Valentine's Day. One time I balanced like 10 calculators on my forehead. Is that the same? Let me think. I tried coming up with a calculator related pun, but I came up. I. I. But it didn't add up. Hey! I don't know if the- I don't know if the mic picked up on my knee slap. <laughs> Boo! You're booing me? But I forgive you. I approach you with forgiveness and love, Kipplroy. What do you give back? Insolent child. Super. Who, who's Super? Super. Hi! Oh, Super71! Hi! You are Super. Your name is very fitting. My risk was calculated, but boy, am I bad at math. It's okay. Vapor, thank you for hosting. How's it going? Blaggard. I'm balancing my mental health with my sanity. Does that count? Uh... Sure. <laughs> sure. Am I banished from the stream? I can never banish you, Kipplroy. You're you're a respected member of the community. Is the otter bad at math? Um, I can tell you that I'm good at I'm smarter than a chimp. What was I saying? I love this emote so much. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. It's a Valentine's Day emote. I'm really excited about it. Spread the love. I'm smarter than a chimp. I have otter brain. Chris is smarter than two chimps? I don't know about that. That sounds like- I mean, if you put two chimps together, that's- they are greater than the sum of their parts. And I don't even know what that means because I'm not good at math. Otter is bad at swimming. I am bad at swimming. Pretty visuals. Yeah, this game is, is quite beautiful. Chimp and a half. Two and a half chimps. The sitcom. Uh, Joe, what is the- what are, what are three heart emojis and one knife emoji? What does that mean? Are you trying to tell me something? Please decode. Decode your hieroglyphs for me. Everyone go follow Joe on, at tw on Twitter. Uh, twitter.com slash ok- okay Jonah. O-K-A-Y-J-O-N-N-A. -N -N Be amazed. Because their art... is... Honestly, one of my all-time favorite... art. One of my full- one of my all-time- Joe is one of my all-time favorite human beings, and that is not an exaggeration. Whenever I think about Joe, I'm basically transported to this paradise that you see before you. This is just like meeting Joe Simulator. This is what it's like to see. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, that's where the that's where the mental illness comes from. You gotta get rid of it. But it's okay. It can be. It, it can be managed. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna fix. We're gonna fix you right up. Don't don't you worry. Jesus, this is loud. 
Uh, I'll turn it down. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm so sorry that your ears... <laughs> uh, here, let me turn it down a little bit more. I apologize, I apologize. I take- I take audio very seriously. Uh, is this- is this audio okay? Would you like me to turn it down or up or leave it as is? Oh, maybe I can get rid of these chains by popping them. I'll take the hit for you, Joe. Oh! Oh! Look at all these brain cells that are- that are joining me. Freeing your- your serotonin from the prison. This is all real time, by the way. Joe Mama? Did someone just diss Joe? A real life friend of mine? How do you feel about this? Magic school bus who? This is really cute. This game is like... Just like... Kinda like, nice. I don't know, I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know why, what, it's, what the devs have against triangles though. I'm, I'm swimming really badly right now. Oh, what was Joe's Twitter? Uh, here, let me, I got you. Let me get, let me get the link up. You know, um, I'll be honest. Uh, I've gotten a lot of Twitter followers in the past few months, but sometimes I I, I feel like I don't know if I like I want to support my friends by like retweeting their stuff, but. This- this could sound completely stupid to you, and I'm sorry, but it's a real thought that I have where I'm like, I don't- you know, maybe- maybe- okay, maybe like not like my direct- like my close friend, but someone who I really respect and think is really cool but don't know super well. Like, I almost don't want to like share their work because I- I don't know if they'll be alarmed if like a- if like a bunch of furries start liking their work all of a sudden. Like, I don't- I don't want them to get like- to be like, what's happening? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm not used to it. But I think I'm getting over that fear. I, I wanna- I want- I, I wanna help people out and, like, spread... You know, spread the love. There's a lot of art that I see that I get excited about. And I want other people to see it too. Blech. Afraid of furries? I mean, I've been there. Like, I'm talking like, like, I have some former employers on my Twitter. And if I want to like help them out because they're genuinely cool people. Now, like, I don't know, like, how, what are they going to think? <laughs> Is this going to change their perception of me if, if, if I share and suddenly like, I don't know. It's stuff like that. But people who know me, like, like, know me know me, and I know them, like, I don't, I don't care. I think it's fun. I usually don't have any qualms. It's like when they're in that, like, semi-familiar limbo where I'm like, I don't know if... But I guess that applies to just retweeting stuff in, in, in general, because it's like... You know, you're, you're, it's a form of interaction, and uh, you don't, you don't know if... If... Like, where you stand, like, are you, like... friends with them that you want to like chat with them or like you know you just want to like support them and you retweet their stuff but you don't you haven't really talked to them in a while like what does that mean you guys know what i mean i'm talking about like it's kind of like a weird I, I think this is just where my social anxiety is kicking in like i will start to like over rationalize like these really tiny uh sorts of social interactions i can't help it I, I overthink a lot of stuff, and it's definitely not by choice. Love is like peanut butter, and one th other thing, spread it, bitch. But what if you're allergic to peanuts? Riddle me this.
When are we upgrading from semi-familiar? <laughs> Twist? I think we're more than semi-familiar, Twist. Because we've had, like, online interactions here and there. But, like, there's some people who I'm like, Aw, oh, they're so cool, but I, like, I've never even spoken to them yet. Um, and, like, I don't know... I don't know how to, like, navigate that... That unspoken... Ambiguity. Become horse? You guys should really watch the movie Sorry to Bother You. It's rated R, so, I mean, if, I guess if you can watch it, watch it. It's relevant to the conversation, but it's it's a good it's a movie that like it's you should go into it without reading up on it because a lot of wacky things happen and it's really good. It's it gets a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I am free like a dolphin. Wait, I gotta go. I gotta go this way. Let's go into the Dorito. Can we get some Doritos in chat? I would love to watch the ending of this game, but I'm really tired. Bye. Oh, Max, I'll see you later. Have a good night. I hope you sleep well. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's get some Doritos because we're going inside the, the magical space Dorito. Ugh. Ugh. I can't aim properly. Can't go into Dorito. No, stop gracefully jumping out of the water like a dolphin. Get in the fucking Dorito. Oh crap. We're back in hell. Oh wait, we have the power of like liberation now. We're gonna free these triangles from their shackles. You have got nothing to lose but your chains. Oh, we're gonna ride straight into the shark hole for revenge. Oh! Oh fuck! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! That if you're just joining, that shark, no, that triangle fucked up our friend the shark. Like the shark went in and died. No more shark hole. We're liberating the sharks. The wildlife is returning. Earth is healing. Nature is healing. Can't kill ghost shark. Yeah. Shark Tale is a lot more sad than I remember. I have not- I've never seen Shark Tale. Should I watch it? Chat. Should I- should I watch Shark Tale? You do not need? I- I don't- I shouldn't watch it? No? Okay. <laughs> I won't watch it then. Yes? Oh, now it- alright. Now it's a debate. I'm getting mostly no's though. Yes? <laughs> of course you should. Wait. Or what? Please watch Shark Tale. It's I kinda loved it as a kid. Uh oh. Oh, we finished the game! We finished the game! We finished the game! We freed the water! We fixed it. We fixed the water. Alright, I'll do a poll. We- we beat it! Oh! Thank you for handling the poll for me, mod. I'm getting a lot of yeses right now. What game was this? It's called Abzu. A-B-Z-U. Um, I got it for sale, but, uh, if you like short experiences that are really visually visually how would i describe this game visually uh sumptuous um then i recommend it it's definitely worth it uh if you want to just like kick back and like explore water lunar steam sale on now whoa i gotta take a look hey there's a discount on cyberpunk 2077 i don't know if i want to get it though Oh, Hades is on sale. If you guys want to play Hades, it's on sale on Steam right now. It's 20% off.
Hades is on sale. Abzu is half off. Oh my gosh, Abzu is half off. If you guys liked what you saw and wanted to explore for your own, explore on your own, uh, now's the time. Oh, people are trying to get me to buy Outer Wilds. Should I buy it? It's probably on sale now, right? I should buy Outer Wilds because everyone says it's really good and don't look it up. I played it. I thought it was rather well done. Outer Wilds is literally my favorite game ever made. Oh shit. I, I, mean, oh, I mean, I can't say no to that. Is it on sale? It is on sale. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it because... Because I got a bunch of gifts, gift subs today, so I gotta use the gift sub money to buy Outer Wilds. Let's buy it. I'm gonna buy it right now. Purchase for myself. Remember me on this computer. PayPal account. Continue. Agree to the terms. Outer Wilds stream sometime. Yeah, I'll stream it. Why not? I'm gonna hit the buy button. There's I'm hitting purchase. Shark Tale where the Will Smith fish tries to do a cool handshake with his boss and says it's okay. A lot of white fish can't do it. <laughs> That's funny. Look, we bought it. We bought it. You hear that? That was my email saying thank you for your Steam purchase. We have Outer Wilds now. I'll stream it sometime. Well, good night, Mr. Otter. Good night, D-Man. Good night. I hope you sleep well. Shark Tail stream in Discord. I mean, I won't stop you. <laughs> oh, my internet cut out and I missed the last bit. Well, what happened was we rode into the triangle and blew it the fuck up. And then the grass started growing back. That's about it. Sayonara Wild Hearts is on sale. I'm going to buy it because I loved what I saw. Oh. I was actually going back into the game and playing it off stream to kind of do it better. Um, and I rarely do that. So I do recommend that game a lot. Like it's, it's very nice. Sayonara Wild Hearts. It's a bit short too. You can beat it in like an hour or at worst an hour and a half, but, uh, it's definitely a good time. Look at all them horses. I agree. I so agree. Well, that's one more steam purchase than I plan to do today. So I feel good. Um, but I, I'm gonna just look at what else is on on sale. I don't know if I want to buy though. I mean, fifteen dollars. Uh, I mean, I'm used to I'm spoiled. I'm used to buying games like super cheap because of Steam. Press the plus button to exit. That's Hades. I really recommend Hades. It's super fun. Shopping stream? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about a shopping stream, but I am looking. Hey, Morrowind is $3. $3. Skyrim is $16. Hmm. Cyberpunk, how did you mess up so badly? Last of the last of what the heck? This community recommends The Last of Waifus. What the hell is this game? Some kind of meme game? Players like you love, love... Oh, they're trying to recommend me the Colonel Sanders Kentucky Fried Chicken dating sim game. How are you? I'm doing really good, Kiara. How are you? Pirated movie stream. I don't know if I can stream that on Twitch. <laughs> Hey, if you guys missed it, I beat Hades the other day. I wasn't on stream, but I'm super excited about that. 23 escape attempts. I got super lucky. Um, I'm really excited about that. Hmm. Fall Guys. You know, I know Fall Guys kind of came and went as a phenomenon, but... I actually want to play Fall Guys, but I don't know if I should pick it up now that no one's playing it. Please play the KFC Daddy game? I don't wanna. <laughs> so is this the end of the stream? Yeah, I mean, I usually chat a little bit before ending, but this is kind of the end of the stream. Uh, 
So if you are leaving now, I, I bid you farewell. I hope everyone has a good night. But I, I like to stick around to unwind a little bit because I, I can't always read chat as closely as I like when I'm playing a game. But now I, you have my undivided attention. So if you, if you wanted to tell me anything, tell me now. Santa dating sim, what? Vapor and Chris Fall Guys stream? That actually does sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's squat up in Fall Guys. Ugh, you're tempting me. Ugh, but it's like, it's $15 and like, let's be honest, like the hype is over. I wish it was like at its peak like it used to be. Hi Chris. Oh, hi Macho. How's it going? How are you doing? You're, you caught me at the end of the stream, but we're gonna chat a little bit so it'll be okay. Play Ace Attorney. But I want to play Ace Attorney a lot because I really like like the writing and the style of the game and everything, but isn't it like super long? Streaming, I found that streaming doesn't really lend itself to like long form games. That's why I haven't played like super long RPGs or anything. It's taken me months to to play Mario 64 and I still haven't even beaten it yet. I'm gonna try Phasmophobia this weekend. I join you. Uh, I want to play Phasmophobia, yeah, but I have other plans this weekend for Valentine's Day, for a Valentine's Day stream. And uh, I'm really excited about what I'm going to play. Stay tuned and find out. It's on theme. Would you play Hollow Knight? Yes, I would play Hollow Knight. I know it's long, but it's not like a narrative-driven thing, so I want to play it. And I own it too. I own it on the Switch. Do you guys have Hollow Knight on the Switch? I, I heard Dunkey talking about it, and he said that it has like a bit of a delay. Like there's like a split-second delay uh, for the Switch, and it's much more responsive on the PC. Is that true? Did I make a mistake by buying it on the Switch? Because... It was okay, last I remember. Ace Attorney is episodic? Oh, maybe I should play it. I have not experienced Ace Attorney yet, and I want to. I feel like I would like it a lot. I know my brother's a big fan, but he's a lawyer, so... I have Hollow Knight on the Switch. How does it play? Is it is it good? Is it responsive? Hollow Knight runs good on the Switch. Okay, okay, maybe it was just specific to him. Oh my god, Hot Tub Full Boyfriend. I have that. I could play it. And I do love birds. I actually have a Hot Tub, po a Hot Tub Full Boyfriend plush. It's in my room. I never noticed anything like that with Hollow Knight versus the PC version. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Do you have game recommendations? Do I have game recommendations? Uh, it depends on what you like. Um, I know that... My f my favorite games of all time are, uh, let's see, Yoshi's Island for the SNES, super old, but I love it. Um, I really love the Portal series, which is also super old by now. Portal 2 is one of my favorites. I'm a big Mass Effect fan, and I'm really excited about the Mass Effect Legendary Edition coming out. That's a long-ass game, but I might play it because I love it so much. Um... Lately, I played Sayonara Wild Hearts, which I find really easy to recommend because it's just like an hour-long experience and it's very fun and beautiful. It's a rhythm game. Um, I'm addicted to Hades right now, so I really recommend Hades. Portal is great. I agree. I love Portal. Wild Hearts is bumping. I totally agree. Apparently, they are going to tweak the XP rewards, so you only need one playthrough to reach level 60 in Mass Effect. Whoa, cool. Don't call Portal old. I'm still young, I swear. I mean, it is... I mean, there's no shame. I mean, come on. Um, but it's good. It, it ages really well. I love Portal so much. Play Peggle. What is Peggle? Beat it in 60 hours, but am bad gamer. What are we talking about? Did you beat the game? How long did you play? I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl up chat to read this convo that's happening. What are we talking about here? Peggle? I played it on the orange box. Half-Life 2 is really good too. If I agree. If you like rhythm games, you should play Mad Rat Dead. I heard about that. The art style is really cute. I really love the art style. Should I play it? Um, I have played Mass... Uh, sorry, I was going to say Mass Effect. I've played Half-Life 2 as well. And I've also played the, like, the mini sequels, like Episode 2 and Episode 3. Um, I have not played Half-Life Alex, and I don't have a VR set, but Half-Life is quite good. I'm a little dumb, though, for Valve games, because they really don't tell you where to go in those games. They expect you to read the environment and figure it out, 
and uh, I'm a little dense and I get lost sometimes. Black Mesa. I haven't played the first Half-Life. Stop teasing us with Silk Song. Well, they can tease all they want because I haven't beaten um I haven't beaten the original Hollow Knight yet. Can't wait for Silk Song. Yeah, I am excited though. If you want another game like Abzu, the game Lost Ember is pretty nice. It's a little bit longer. Yeah, this stream was very relaxing. I kind of almost like it. You know, I think I would have enjoyed it. I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much if I was playing it on my own. Because I get impatient when I'm 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 just like, come on, get to the action, the shooty, and the stabby part. But when I'm on stream, I'm like, hell yeah, I can just talk to chat and swim around and it's super nice when I'm not blowing your ears out with the audio. Uh, so I would definitely play more games like this. Have you played Later Alligator? I admit that my fear with Later Alligator, isn't it like kind of like a... What kind of game is it? Is it like a point and click or like a puzzle game or something? I'm afraid that I'll get lost. Like, because I'm so dumb, I don't want to play games that require me to think too much because chat's going to go crazy. It's a series of mini games, no real puzzles. Oh, okay. So if I'm not... If I'm not uh, is it is it dumb proof? If it's if it's dumb proof, I'll play it because it looks really cute. You go around talking to everyone and you play the games and there's a cute ending. Oh okay, okay maybe I'll play it. I was afraid that it was gonna be like, uh, like a cartoon version of like um, like L.A. Noir or something where you kind of have to like figure out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I haven't played L.A. Noir either, but I also own that. Remember the chimp brain thing? Chimp can't play video game. It's so cute. I, I, yeah, I'll play it. You know, someone told me that Chester kind of looks like they would fit in in the style of later alligator, and that kind of made me want to play it more. I do love the art a lot. It's a that's a good furry game. Have you played Night in the Woods? Do you, I love Night in the Woods? It's one of my all time favorites. Uh, I might play it again just to do the Greg route because I did um B first. I'm so sleepy, I'm almost sleeping. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, chat, for being awesome. Thank you, not important. I hope you have a good sleep. Good night. Um, My goal in life is to make content like Night in the Woods where furries love it, but also not furries are like, hell yeah. Like, it's not immediately like, you know, I'm kind of thinking about like that one person who joined me months ago when I got raided on Twitch. Someone in chat was like, whoa, whoa, I'm, I'm not a furry, I'm out of here. And they like left. <laughs> and I'm like, no, come back. <laughs> I don't want to come off like uh, like I'm inaccessible, you know? Like I don't want to be niche. I want to be, uh, I'm open to all viewers. Absolute coward, maybe. But uh, I don't want to come off that way. I would love to make media that's like cute animals, but it doesn't like drive anyone away. But maybe that's their problem and not mine. I don't know. I'm quick to self-doubt. Fell asleep at the beginning of the stream and I just woke up. What I miss? Welcome back. I hope I gave you some good dreams. Maybe you dreamt the game. Maybe we are all part of your dream. Welcome back, Gep. Um, we saved all the sharks. And it was fun. And it was really relaxing and I feel better. If you want to be non-furry friendly, you gotta stop talking about the X's and the O's. But... But we all have butthole. As long as you never put Chester in a Speedo or whatever, you're good. Well, you're just giving me ideas. <laughs> uh, I fell, yeah, I fell asleep during online class recently and dreamt that I was in physical class. Holy crap, you, you manifested school from sleeping. Yeah, oh, I think you, you missed so this part, Twist. Anyway, uh, we were talking about... Ah, oh, thank you, Hot Pie. Thank you so much. I was I was talking about how, like, X's and O's stands for hugs and kisses. But, like, it doesn't... It doesn't really make sense. Like, it, it could make just as much sense if O's stand, stood for kisses and, and X's stood for hugs, if you really think about it. Like, you can come up with an explanation, but... In reality, we, we we all know the truth that the X looks like a puckered asshole and the O looks like an unpuckered asshole. I mean, that's just facts. 
The exes are the kisses. Yeah, yeah, they are, right? It doesn't make no, it makes no sense at all. And someone told me that it's because the ex is like a, is is a puckered lip. But I always thought that the ex was That's meant awesome. to be I thought that the ex was meant to be a profile view of kissing, like you're Oh, now that I'm free from the game, I can finally explain. I can already see people leaving in droves cuz we're talking about buttholes again, but but please bear with me because um you will understand soon. All right, we're back in paint. You know it's going to be a good stream when I open MS Paint. All right, I'll make this nice and big. X? Oh, right? So here is my theory. Well, here is what I understood the traditional explanation for X being kisses and O's being hugs was that I thought it was like this. I thought it was like, here, I could do, I could do, I could draw a better puckered lip. I thought it was like this, all right? Are you with me? Do I still, do, am I going too fast for anyone? Here, check this out. How is that an X? I will show you. Oh, hang on. I'm having some trouble here with the limitations of MS Paint. I will show you, it's like this. So once the lips come together and like form like a really, really intense pucker, it's kind of like this. They kind of come together like that. Like that. Do you see it? Do you see the X? That's what I thought. This is what I thought. I, I straight up thought this was like the conventional explanation. But someone's telling me that that the X is supposed to be like Supposed to be like this? You're telling me that it's this? What the fuck? What is this? What is that? That's not it. That's just that ain't it. Um alright. So and here, let me let me move on to hug. So, as far as I understand it, um, I, I believe that the O stands for a hug because it's like this. This is like a top view of a guy. And these are the arms. His arms are coming around. And the other dude is over here. Like this. Coming around like this. So I I thought that the O was like the circular orientation of the arms as as they're embracing each other. This was this the O's are the lips. What are you talking about? No, the O's are the hugs. You're wrong, werewolf. I mean, no one's wrong because this is all bullshit and they both look like assholes. But if we're talking about the conventional wisdom, then then I be, I thought that this was it. I thought that this was what it meant. Um, what did I come back to? We're, we're talking science right now, but here, here, uh, here's what I'm like. All right. The O stands for Ouroboros. The Ouroboros is an ancient symbol depicting a serpent or a dragon eating its own tail. What the fuck? That sounds cool as hell, but I don't, I don't buy that. That's like the reason why people use X's and O's. We're, we're not talking about science. What are you talking about? This, this is science. This is the science. This is the science of people. And maybe it's not a hard science, but it's definitely... It's definitely like a half chub. Alright, so... um, Let me explain why this is confusing. Because you can just as easily rationalize the other way. Where this is a hug. And this is a kiss. Right? I was taught X was hug and O was kiss too. Yeah, that's that's the common understanding. Um, but here, here, just to prove to you that 
they are not valid because this explanation is just as good. Here is, here is how it worked in my brain. This is a hug because if you have someone like this, hugging, wait, how do you draw a hug? Hmm. If you have a side view like this, right? You kind of have this X motion. You see this? Do you see the X? Do you see the truth? That the hug is the X? And that the kiss? That the kiss? That the kiss is the O? Do you see? Do you see the truth? It looks like a blow-up doll, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm trying to illustrate a point here. Maybe if I draw the circle inside, it won't be as bad. Uh, Check it out! How is this explanation any worse or better than the other one? They're both equally valid, which means they're not valid because it's not like one is preferable to the other. Do you know what I mean? Like, this makes no sense. But, I offer an alternative. Be amazed, because I reject tradition, and I embrace modernity. Wait, is this going to get me banned from Twitch? Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do this. According to Wikipedia, X being a kiss started in the Middle Ages because X was a symbol. For Christ, the OS come from Jewish immigrants who did not believe in Christ. Hmm. Huh. The X... Kiss started in the Middle Ages because the X was a symbol for Christ? Like, key? Like the Greek word, the Greek letter key? Like, the key blade, you know what I'm Like that key? Or Kai? I think- I, I I read it as Kai, but in Kingdom Hearts, they call it Key, and they, then they kind of do like a pun thing where they call it the Keyblade, but I call it Kai. Um. Yeah, that's that's where Xmas comes from, because it's Christ. That makes sense. That- I accept that explanation. I won't continue with this discussion any longer, at the risk of losing my- streaming privileges but uh hey you heard it here folks if i ever get banned from twitch god forbid you'll find me on youtube <laughs> but i do love twitch and i would never i would never leave twitch on uh, unless i had to so hopefully that hopefully it doesn't come to that do atheists celebrate omis that's a good question the mods sweating. <laughs> I have that effect on people. I've been sweating for 15 minutes. Well, you should really, uh, uh, pat yourself with a towel and dry yourself off and lay down and, you know, take a deep breath. Hmm. I'm sleepy. Anarchy mode? No! Well, maybe. Who is more anarchistic than I? Oh, right. I was looking at the Steam sale. Ugh, oh, Hades, $20. Go buy it. It's really good. Uh, it's hard, though. Hmm. Friday night funkin' right now or I will boop you. I I have wanted to play it, but I just don't want to embarrass myself because I'm bad at uh, rhythm games. Hey, A Way Out is on sale. I saw, I saw a lot of people playing that. It's like a co-op prison escape game. 
It's only nine dollars. What the heck? It's hard to resist. Um, I don't know. I feel like I bought too many games. We bought too many games. Uh, Divinity Original Sin Two is on sale. I have Divi Divinity Original Sin One that I still gotta play. I know everyone talks about Divinity Two, but is one still worth playing? I had a good time when I when I tried it. I I don't wanna I don't want like a whole game to go to waste because I spent like a good like twenty bucks on it, maybe thirty. I don't remember. Hmm. Divinity 2 lets you be a lizard. It's the better game. Well, I won't argue that it's better, but uh, my question is whether the first one is is still like worth it. Because no one talks about 1 now that 2 is out. I'm playing the first one with my brother. It's fun, but the second one seems better. Okay, so maybe I, maybe I should just play it just to experience it. I mean, it got really high reviews. Look! Ow, that was my eye. <laughs> Thank you for the boop. I I do want to play uh, FNF. Um, it looks really cute. I really love the art style. Honestly, that that kind of style, like that playful, um, anime inspired style, is is like my jam. Like I want to draw like that. Um, I feel like I haven't really. I've been drawing. Honestly, I've been drawing too much Chester because I haven't really. Uh, I haven't really drawn in like my native style for a while. Um, I don't usually draw animals, you know. Hey, but that tweet's doing really well. It's, it hit 3k, I'm really excited about that. Um, too much Chester nonsense. I, I love drawing Chester, but I kind of want to like flex my my not like my, my human drawing muscles too. Um, I used to draw a lot of fan art, but I wonder what to draw now. What is Chris could? What if Chris could actually feel all the boops and pats? I can. I can feel the weight of the cheese on my head. Bitties, Bitties for, the, for drawing, the drawing muscles. The drawing muscles. Thank you, Juxta. Did I miss anyone? Sub. I'm sorry if I did. I appreciate everybody. I gotta draw more flesh tubers, it's true. Would you consider drawing Chester in a Splatoon match? Maybe if I do a Splatoon stream. But I feel like I kind of put, I put Splatoon down, maybe when Splatoon 3 comes out. But I love drawing Inklings, just like as Inklings. Um, I might have to get Divinity now because it could be cooperative. Does, does Divinity 2 not have co-op? Because Divinity 1 has like, really robust co-op like you two people can play like the game fully they can walk away from each other and it naturally becomes split screen it's like really good i wish more games were were that robust in their co-op skills a lot of games can't handle being like played by two people and like rendering both games at the same time will there be a splatoon 3 i should think that there should be because splatoon is like huge in japan and it'd be They'd be remiss not to make more Splatoon. Draw butts. Draw butts? I'm actually, I never got, I was never good at drawing butts, but I do want to get better at drawing butts. Um, the pelvis is a really tricky area for artists. If I picked it up, would you play Divinity with me? I would, I would. I would play it with you, but maybe not on stream. Like I would just straight up play it because it looks like a lot of fun. Divinity 2 is four player co-op. Oh. Oh, so it's just straight up an improvement. I want to stream Splatoon sometime and play it more in general. It's good. It is good. It is good. Oh my gosh. Add me on the Switch. Uh, I don't have my friend code. And I don't want to put it on stream because everyone's going to try to add me. Well, I know at least some of you will try to add me. <laughs> Splatoon is good. Yeah, I love Splatoon. I, I love drawing Splatoon too. Um, Octo Expansion was a phenomenal DLC. Uh... That was everything I wanted in that. Like, it was so narrative um, and atmospheric. And I love the designs of everything and, like, the world and the music. Ugh. It's good. Octo Expansion is the best DLC. I, I, that's a big hard agree. That that agree ain't no half chub agree. Um, Octo is fantastic, yeah. And the ending was such... It was so, it was so much fun. 
Uh, I want more of that stuff out of Nintendo. It's so like out there and bold and decisive. Um, I love the Metro concept. Yeah, it made me feel like I was back home at New York City. You know, I might have to play it finally. Oh my god, no, yeah, I I completely 100% recommend Octo Expansion. It is so fun. Like, I mean, it's it's like a challenge run type of thing where they kind of train you to do higher level Splatoon stuff, but it's wrapped up in like kind of a. I don't know. I really liked it. I I feel like it added so much character to Pearl and Marina, and the design and like ideation of the world is so big brain. Like, I want more of that. I wish it just it wasn't just a DLC. Maybe Splatoon uh, 3 can integrate more of it. Because, let's be honest, I haven't played the first Splatoon because I never owned a Wii U, but I'm pretty sure it's so similar to the first game if you talk about, like, Hero Mode, the single-player campaign. It's like a carbon copy, but maybe not even as good. Um, but Octo Expansion felt like the sequel that we all really wanted. It was so different and interesting. Um... And then you get to play as an Octoling, which is super cute. Oh, Suki, I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you have a good night. I'm gonna play Hades. I have to beat the game in less runs than you. Oh, <laughs> that's a challenge. Um, I believe in you. You can do it. I honestly, I'm kicking myself for not beating it sooner, but I just needed a few runs to like study the attack patterns of the bosses. Um, and then I also got lucky with the boons. But you can do it. I believe. Good luck. Bro, I feel insulted. What? Why? I'm talking to Vernon. What did I say? 27 runs? Oh, you did 27? That's okay. I mean, I just- I feel like I just got luckier than you. The atmosphere and characters are nuts. Ugh. I want- Oh, it's like edgy Nintendo, but it's like- Ugh, man, I want more. It's so good. I gotta sleep. Good night, y'all. Raphael, have a good night. Um... I missed most of the stream, but I still had fun. See you later. Have a beautiful time. Ah, thank you for dropping by, Ryan. I hope you have a good night. Alright, well, I mean, it is 11, so maybe I should wrap things up for today. Let me take a quick look on Twitch. I don't think anyone's streaming right now because it's like ass o'clock, but you never know. You know, I... I don't actually know this person. Um... I'm following them though. I don't want to raid people I don't know because maybe it's gonna, I don't know, it could be unexpected or unwelcome or something. I guess, yeah, I guess we'll end the stream. No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to leave a, I don't want to like surprise them or, I don't know. They're, they're not, I'm following them. They're not mutuals with me. Um, I would want to help people though with view counts and stuff but i i can't assume that it's always welcome sometimes i feel bad for 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 rating you know um sometimes i feel bad because and it's not like it's not on you guys but i i feel a little awkward when you know i raid another streamer and like chat will talk a little bit too much about me and not like the streamer that they're currently watching so if you guys can help it like <laughs> Maybe whenever, if, if we raid, the next time we raid, just like focus on um, the person who is currently streaming. Because I feel like too much Chester talk makes it seem like I'm still in the show. And I don't want to like be an attention hog. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm like, I don't have anyone in mind. Like, I don't, I'm not calling anybody out. It's just something I've noticed really broadly. Um, I sent you a friend request on Switch. Oh, oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm going to accept that. Raid smaller people. Yeah, I, I do. I do want to raid smaller people. But I want to raid people who, like, know me. <laughs> I don't know. My reputation exceeds me? Uh, that's a little scary. This is my first time hanging out for a full stream, and I'm so excited to come back. Aw, oh, Steven, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I'm That makes me really happy. I hope everyone has a good night. I'm going to end the stream now. Um, Yeah. Take care. I'll see you on the weekend for some Valentine's Day stream. I'm just be playing a game, but it'll be fun. Um, yeah, I don't got anything else to say. Maybe I'll put a rose in my mouth for Valentine's Day. That's going to be cute. Someone remind me to do that. <laughs> okay, bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye, everyone.